<laughs> Welcome back to Pelosi List. I'm your host, Nancy Pelosi. And as always, I'm joined with my two special guests. The second best president in the world. Uh, I think you mean first. <laughs> and uh, my BFF, the vice president. All right, so today we're going to discuss what true excellence looks like. <laughs> I mean, have you guys ever seen true excellence? Uh, every time I look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that man is the best president that ever lived. <laughs> president Joe Biden. I call this 80 million. <laughs> Well, it's over. What? What's he talking about? We're going to war. <laughs> yes. Wait, wait, what? I gotta say, I could have called this one. I is it my fault? Of course it's your fault. Oh, come on, man. Joe, <laughs> 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 stop blaming yourself. This isn't your fault. <laughs> it's not? No. This is Trump's fault. Yeah, it is Trump's fault. Yep. It's all Trump's fault. Eh, wrong. <laughs> if I was in charge, this wouldn't be going on. It's your fault, Trump! <laughs> Whatever you say, Nancy. <laughs> all right, dipshits, smile. Let's go, Brandon! Let's Let's go, go, Brandon! Brandon! <laughs> so, Nancy, how are things going? Uh, uh, did you just call me Nancy? Um, yeah, that's your name, yes. isn't it? Um, <laughs> you, you know what, um... I, I I guess it is. Um, I'm I'm not entirely sure, but um, <laughs> then again, I, I've been wrong before. So. so, how are things going? Um, things are going uh, pretty good. Um, I've uh, I've joined an eyebrow team. Did you just say you joined an eyebrow team? That, that's correct. And um, <laughs> I'm actually uh, uh the team captain. <laughs> um, we just uh, we go, um we we um <laughs> we 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 go to eyebrow competitions um all over the country and um. It's a lot of fun. Wow, uh, eyebrow competitions, huh? <laughs> Can you do any tricks? Um, yeah. <laughs> Check this out. Now, you don't want to be doing this at home. <laughs> you should stay in school. <laughs> Impressive. Yeah, it's a, um, it's a tough sport. And, um, <laughs> we're hoping to uh, make, make it into the Olympics, too. Um, there's a lot of training and um, a lot of discipline that goes into professional eyebrowing. But, uh, <laughs> but at the end of the day... Um, when I, when I hold up that eyebrow trophy, it's all worth it. So you're a professional eyebrower? Yes. Um, I I I I, I don't want to brag, but um, yes, I am a professional eyebrower. <laughs> that sounds great. So what else is going on? Well, um, uh, I've I've actually been spending a lot of my free time trying to um find out who uh, shot Alec Baldwin's gun. <laughs> um, and and, and I'm and I'm and, and I'm pretty confident I'm I'm gonna find out who it was. You're trying to find out who shot Alec Baldwin's gun? That's correct. Um, I, I've launched a full investigation, and um, I'm working side by side with the FBI <laughs> to find the criminal who um, pulled the trigger on Alec Baldwin's gun. So if you're out there, I want you to look into my eyebrows, because I'm coming for you. Wow. Uh, and, and I just, um, I, I just want to send a little shout out to um, Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Alex, um, we're working night and day to find the person who's responsible for this, all right? So, um, I need you to just splendor. <laughs> and who's funding this investigation? Well, the taxpayers, of course. <laughs> so, how's the Build Back Better going? Oh, it's going great. Um, I got in early on some great stock and, um, <laughs> I made like, um, 30 million dollars so far. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, um, it's going pretty good. Okay. Our goal for the Build Back Better is to, um, make things a little bit more expensive. <laughs> and, um, by doing so, um, I can put a little bit more money into my bank account. <laughs> and, um, that's really what this is all about. Um, because without politicians, you'd all be rich. <laughs> well, it was great having you on the show, Nancy. Hey, um, I, 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 uh, I'm starting to sober up and, um, my, my eyebrows are starting to get a little moist. <laughs> So I, 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 uh, I, I gotta get going. Okay. Good night, patients! License and registration, please. Yeah, can I get a number two with a side coke and, um, you, you want anything? Onion rings. And, uh, some onion rings. <laughs> I'm the police. I, I'm the this, this is my husband, Small. It's Paul. It's Paul. <laughs> Are you okay to drive? Drive? 
<laughs> I, I'm too drunk to drive. I'm I, I'm sleepwalking. I, I'm sleepwalking too. You guys been doing a little drinking today? Of course we've been drinking. <laughs> How much did you have to drink? Um, a lot. I'm freaking wasted. <laughs> I'm so drunk. <laughs> drinking and driving is against the law. Oh, I, I, I'm not driving. Um, he he's driving. I, I'm driving? Yeah. Slow down! Can you say the alphabet backwards? Uh, al alphabet backwards. All right, I'm gonna need you to blow into this. You want me to blow into that? Yes, I do. Blow into this. But my husband's here. <laughs> just blow into it. Oh, we just met. I'm not Kamala. <laughs> blow! Fine. <laughs> Happy? Yep. You're drunk. What? <laughs> I I'm too drunk to be drunk. You, you want me to drive? You, you are driving. I am? Officer, a racist man. He's been tricking and driving. Step out of the car, please. All right, let, let me pull over. Somebody help. I'm being kidnapped. You're under arrest for DUI. Hi, I'm uh, Joe. I'm Joe. And I'm Nancy. And, and, and we've, we've got, got baby, baby food. food. <laughs> Do you have a hungry baby? Uh, are you all out of baby formula? Have you searched every store in town only to find nothing but empty shelves? Joe, read the teleprompter. Oh, uh, well, you're, you're, you're a duck. No, it says you're in luck. Yeah, that's what I said. You need baby formula? We got baby formula. For just 17 payments of just $19.99, you can have half a can of partially used baby formula that may or may not contain cat hair absolutely free for just six payments of $15.75 plus 17 payments of just $19.99. That's less than a tank of gas. And, and if you act now, I'll throw in an empty container of formula for just 37 payments of $47.55. That's a 25 cent value, absolutely free, for just $1,759.35. That's less than a tank of gas. But wait, that's not all. For a limited time, I I'll throw in a scratched off lottery ticket for only 20 bucks. And, and I'll give you, uh... $20. Uh, $20 for just, uh... 17 payments of $60. 17 payments of $60! Good boy! And if you send us a check for $99, I'll throw in the morning after pill absolutely free for only six payments of $45 plus $35 for shipping and handling. That's a $14 value absolutely free for just $404 plus $1,500. Bucks. But wait! We're not done! For just a measly $1,400, I'll throw in a second can of partially used baby formula that may or may not contain cat hair absolutely free for just six payments of $17.99. Wow! That's almost a full can! But wait, there's more. Uh, uh, because it's all Trump's fault, uh, the, 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 the... First hundred callers. First hundred callers will get to smell the $40 billion dollars we're sending to Ukraine. <laughs> and I'll even throw in a used gas card with no money on it. Wow, that's amazing. But that's not all. No, no, no that, that's it. Oh, <laughs> read, read the teleprompter. And remember, people, if you don't have babies, you, you won't, won't need, need formula. formula. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll have enough money for gas, too. Hey, it's all <laughs> Trump's fault anyway. It's all Trump's fault. Hey, did somebody summon a priest? So? What are you doing here? I I'm here for the exorcism. You're a priest? <laughs> of course I'm a priest. Not a joke. When, when did you become a priest? Well, I was at the black church with the Puerto Rican family that raised me, and everything just kind of snowballed from there. Okay. <laughs> ha, ha, have you ever done an exorcism before? <laughs> Are you kidding? I've done lots of exorcisms. J just did one this morning. Not a joke. Okay, you're hired. <laughs> now help this house. All right, uh, 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 what do you want me to do? I, I, I think this house is haunted, and um, I, I need you to find your evil spirits and catch them away. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm smelling underwear, sweat, and hammers. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, make this out safe again! All right, all right, I, I, I'm sensing the evil spirit. Well, where is it? it, it it's in the room with us. Well, get rid of it! I, I'm trying to, but it keeps talking to me! What's it saying? It, it, it just asked me what it's saying. What? Not now it's saying what? Yo, I'm saying that! How the hell does it know my name? Yo! Get rid of your evil spirit! It, it just asked me to get rid of the evil spirit! W what's happening? With this holy vodka water, I command the evil spirit to leave this $23 million mansion! Something's happening to me! What's going on? The power of vodka compels you! The power of <laughs> vodka compels you! Yeah. Paul, don't look at my dress! I ran out of razors. Too late. <laughs> Something fishy's going on in here! What, what's wrong? Well, well you, you wanted the evil spirit gone, right? Yes, yes, I want you to make it go away! Alright, well, I, I think you're gonna need to move out- This building behind me used to be a pizza hut, but now it's a tax service. 
But this tax service isn't trying to be a Pizza Hut anymore. Because the moment this tax service decided it wasn't a Pizza Hut, it wasn't. That is science. It was built to be a Pizza Hut, but deep down, it always felt like a tax service. And no matter how much you racist yell, that used to be a Pizza Hut, it's not. It is now a tax service, and it will never be a Pizza Hut again. You walk inside and it's a tax office, not a pizza parlor. There's no greasy Pac-Man joystick, no pepperoni, no plastic red cups. Just a tax office. Are you going to order a pizza in a tax office? No, you can't do that. It's absurd. Are you going to scream at the accountants and tell them they used to be pizza makers? <laughs> accountants can't make pizza! This Pizza Hut woke up one morning and decided, I don't want to be a Pizza Hut anymore. So it stopped being Pizza Hut and started being tax service. So what did we learn today, boys and girls? Just because it looks like a Pizza Hut doesn't mean it is. <laughs> Good night, peasants. Hey, Paul, are, are you okay to drive? I don't have a license. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Um, You're, you're a drunk driver. You, you, want me, you want me to call an Uber? Oh, now you want to call an Uber? <laughs> well, you've been drinking a lot. I, I just had a couple of drinks. I'm, I can do this. <laughs> Come on, let's show. Have, have you had anything to drink tonight? Oh, the judge says I can. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, hey, can you blow into this? <laughs> Is that 0 0.08? It's zero. Well, that's the first. <laughs> All right, let's rise. <laughs> oh, Nancy, slow down. Relax. Don't tell me how to drive. Nancy, please watch the road. Paul, you think I'm pretty? Watch out, please. Please slow down. Paul, you think I'm pretty? Nancy, please watch the road, Paul! please. Do you think I'm pretty? Uh, yes, yes, you're pretty. Just please slow down. Am I as pretty as a horse on Hunter's laptop? Look out! Kiss me, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> oh, that tasted good. Oh, that tasted like shit. Oh, I am so oh. tired. Nancy, watch out! Nancy! Nancy! Hey, Shows you everywhere show me up when you're driving, Phil! My name's Paul! Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Let's get some fucking French toast! Look out, Nancy! Ah! That fucker came out of nowhere! <laughs> so, house drinker, what happened? Well, um... As many of you know, my husband, Paul, was... Kidnapped by the police after being hit by a drunk Trump supporter. But your husband was the one who was drunk. Allegedly. Allegedly? Yeah, allegedly. Whatever happened to the innocent shall prove guilty. Why didn't he call an Uber? Because we're rich. That's why. <laughs> we can do whatever we want. Okay, but your husband was drinking and driving. He, he could have hurt someone. Did he? No. This is all just a smear campaign from Trump. My husband wasn't drunk. He wasn't? No. My husband is a saint. Those racist police officers kidnapped my rich husband and used excessive force. He's lucky to be alive. Thank you, George, for watching out for my husband, Paul. Miss you. Miss you every day. So this is all Trump's fault? Of course this is Trump's fault. <laughs> Remember when I got my hair done and I wasn't wearing a mask? Yeah. Totally Trump's fault. Okay. And remember when everybody found out about my insider trading deal? Yeah. <laughs> Trump's fault, too. <laughs> And remember when my husband was arrested for no reason? Let me guess. Trump's fault? Yes. It's all Trump's fault. My husband was hit by a Trump supporter and wrongfully arrested by racist cops who targeted him because of his skin color and lifestyle choice. I'm going to fight this. My poor Paul has been through so much. He was on his way to donate a portion of kids so they could have baby formula. And the cops kidnapped him for no reason. We need to defund the police, and I am going to impeach Donald Trump. No more quests! Hello, peasants. Um, before we get started, um, <laughs> I have a special treat for all of you. Um, in light of Joe Biden's huge giveaway news, um, Hunter Biden has released his first album. And, um, today, you're all gonna get a little taste of this amazing up-and-coming singer. <laughs> so without further ado... I present to you, Hunter and the Crack Pipes. If it hadn't been for Crack Pipe Joe, I'd be in prison a long time ago. 94 Crime Bill, where did you go? Parmesan cheese on the bathroom floor. Wow! I mean, that was good. I, I, I mean, it just leaves me wanting more. I'm, can, can we play that again? Is, is that possible?
If it hadn't been for Crack Pop Joe, I'd be in prison a long time ago. 94 Crime Bill, where did you go? Parmesan cheese on the bathroom floor. How you doing your crack pipes? Um, <laughs> you, you got it like that. Um, I, I don't care who you are. That, that's good. Um, you guys gotta get out there and buy Hunter and the Crack Pipes' new album. It's, um, it's only $500,000, and, um, <laughs> take it from me, it's worth every penny. <laughs> that boy's good. Um, great job, great job. Um, Joe's so, so gotta be proud of that, you know what I mean? His, his boy's not only smart, but he's got talent. <laughs> oh, and, uh, i just been informed that, um, Hunter and the Crack Pipes have taken their music off of Spotify. <laughs> That's some good hair sanitizer. <laughs> All right, back to business. Um, let's see where are those papers at? Uh, <laughs> Parmesan cheese on the bathroom floor. <laughs> Great. Now that song is officially stuck in my head. <laughs> Pull it together, Smancy. We got this. All right, let's see here. Um, let's see. Um, search, 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 and so you chisel and slurp it, you got like a Jewish. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Had a mild stroke, but um, I'll be just fine. All right, so in honor of me being re-elected, um, I'm going to read a few letters from my Swiss, 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 uh, <laughs> district. Um, <laughs> uh, first one is, um, dear shit. Uh, no, I'm not going to read that one. It's, um, let's see, here's another one. It's, uh, dear Nancy, um, why haven't you resigned? Um, well, <laughs> Because I'm not going to, and I don't need to explain why. Um, here's a poem from a third grader. Uh, it reads, Roses are red, violets are blue, your trick trick is shit, so screw. Um, <laughs> uh, those third graders. Um, oh, here's another one. It says, um, dear asshole. Uh, you know what? Um, that's enough letters for today. Um, you, you guys have any stress, stressings, uh, uh, stress, stress, questions? <laughs> Nancy, what's going on with the insider trading? Um, it, it's going pretty good. Um. That's actually going really good. <laughs> I mean, I, I I made out huge uh, this year, and uh, uh, so, so did a lot of the other people in Congress. <laughs> and um, we're, we're actually really excited to find out who's um, making Joe Biden's crack pipe, so we can get in early on the stock like we did with Sizer and Katrina. <laughs> Why is insider trading okay for you, but not for the rest of us? Um, because. <laughs> um, because it is. Um, and, and it also says it right here in, in the Constitution that um, politicians can do whatever they want. <laughs> and that includes insider trading deals. So, you know, you know, and it's written right there. All right? And, I mean, besides, I mean, have you seen how little we politicians pay ourselves? <laughs> We're barely scraping by. House drinker, it's been rumored that the Capitol Police are under your control. I'll show you ask a question like that. Can you That's thermometers. I mean, it's, it's the carpet like this. All right? Are you controlling the Capitol Police? I, I have no shower over anything. Are wink, you wink. controlling the um, Capitol Police? That, uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's Can you answer the question? No, it's not, it's not how so even since that. So even since that. Controlling the Capitol Police. So, anyways, um, no more questions, and um, <laughs> I won't be seeing you guys for a little while. Good night, Peggy. So, Joe, um, what you been up to? Uh, well, I, I got a cat. You got a cat? Yeah, I got a cat. What happened to your dog? Uh, my dog. Um, uh, I don't know. Oh, Joe, what's it like owning a cat? <laughs> uh, well, it's great, you know, I mean, uh, I, I milk it every morning. What? What? You milk your cat? Yep, that's what I said, I, I, I milk it every morning, you know, I just, uh, just... You milk your cat? Yep, that's what I said, I, I, I milk it every morning, you know, I just, uh, just, I, uh, yeah. Uh, where you put your milk? Into a little saucer. <laughs> I had no idea you could milk a cat. Oh, yeah, you can, you can milk anything with nipples. I have nipples, Joe. Can you milk me? <laughs> You like Neil Young? I don't know. You want to listen to some music? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I, maybe. Alexa, play Neil Young. I'm having trouble finding that. Can I interest you in the Joe Rogan experience? <laughs> no, I, I don't want to listen to Joe Rogan. <laughs> hey, Melissa, play uh, Barry Manilow. Playing the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> no, Alexa, play Barry Manilow. I'm having trouble finding that. Alexa, play Neil Young. Playing the Joe Rogan experience. Alexa, off. Well, I guess when you get too woke, you just end up canceling yourself. <laughs> you know, Joe, I can't believe I'm saying this, but, um, <laughs> it's actually the smartest thing you've ever said. Hey, Melissa, play Willie Nelson. Let me explain something to you, peasants. <laughs> I'm not Michael Jackson, okay? I'm Nancy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Pelosi. I am not Michael Jackson, okay? If you don't believe me, then you can just beat it. Just beat it, beat it. Ugh. I'm gonna moonwalk up and down your ass. Oh, hey, Nancy. You scared me. Where the hell you been, Paul? Uh, what? Well, what are you doing here? I, I live here, Paul. I thought you were going to be out of town. Where were you, Paul? Huh? Out with your Instagram horse? No, I, I I was at a friend's house. Sure you were. Where were you? Huh? We had your massage parlor again? Can you happy, Angie? Your little rubbing chug? No, no. Yeah, sure. I know you were there. Those girls rubbing you with their dirty booger fingers. I wasn't, I, I swear. It's like your second home. You like it here, Paul? Huh? No, I, I only like it you. Sure, Paul. Were you at the strip club again? Getting your lap dances from your dirty college strippers? No. Yeah, I know what you like, Paul. You're a dirty birdie. You like it nasty. You probably got your herpes. You got your herpes, Paul? No, I don't. I, I, I love you. Yeah, sure you do, Paul. Love would have brought you home last night. You don't care about me. Where were you, Paul? I got arrested. Arrested? Yeah. Uh, arrested for what? A DUI? A DUI? Yes. Well, why didn't you just call an Uber? Well, I... I don't um, know Because you were leaving your horse house! I'm sorry, Nancy. Please don't leave Did me. Did you at least tell the cop who your wife was? Yeah, but he was a Trump supporter. He said he didn't care. He said he didn't care? No. Huh. The Republicans are going to have a field day with this one. He was so mean to me. He said, I don't care who your wife is. And then he said Trump won. That's what he said, huh? Yes, he said that. Hmm. <laughs> what are you going to do? Don't worry. Um, I'll think of something. They handcuffed <laughs> me. They took my mugshot. I never felt so abused. They took your mugshot? Yeah. Give me a second, Paul. I got to make a phone call. Hello, peasants. <laughs> hey, eyes up here, perverts. I see you eyeballing my goodies. Stop looking at my bazoombas. <laughs> they belong to Paul. Well, they used to belong to Paul. Nowadays, he doesn't even notice them at all. He hasn't touched them or looked at them in years. He only cares about his Instagram horse. He never looks at me. He's always drunk. He never has time for me. He never touches me. We never talk. He sleeps on the couch, and when he comes to bed, he sleeps on the floor. He never comes home, and when he does... All he wants to do is watch Pornhub. He won't kiss me because he says my gentures smell weird. It's not my fault my gentures smell weird. He stopped smelling my farts. Paul used to love smelling my farts. He used to say, oh my gosh, your farts smell so good. I miss those days. I stopped wearing the pants because Paul said that wearing the pants is gross. But he didn't even notice. He just walked in the door and said, ew, it smells like sitting here. I'm so embarrassed. I tried so hard, but... Nothing is ever good enough for him. I have to drink vodka all day just to feel normal. All he says is, Hey Nancy, what's wrong with your eyebrows? Hey Nancy, why do you smell like mushrooms? Or, Hey Nancy, your makeup looks like cake frosting. Or, Hey Nancy, I'm gonna throw up. I don't deserve this. I wanna cry, but I can't because of the Botox. I just want a man that loves the smell of my senses. A man that accepts my dependence and enjoys the smell of my moist, juicy farts. I'm so alone. Anyways, I gotta get back to my extremely expensive vacation in Italy. <laughs> Please send me money so I can fight for women's rights. Good night, peasants! Cheer, Mr. Fresh Empire and Smootin. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, I wasn't your mother. Smother, uh, smother. I wasn't your mother. <laughs> I would have given you trucks, um, hugs, everything, and, um, <laughs> maybe even a brother. Um, would bathe you and clothe you and make you a snack and give you little raspberries on your clean Putin crack. <laughs> <laughs> you get ice cream and vodka and endless supply. And inside is really for my special little guy. What's wrong, Joe? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Everybody's blaming me for that, um, what's that called again? Um, gas prices? <laughs> yeah, gas prices. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even do anything. Well, they think you shut down the pipeline. <laughs> uh, pop? Like, like a crack pipe? Did someone say crack pipe? <laughs> <laughs> no, Joe. Not a crack pipe. Not, not a crack. Well, well, what kind of pipe is it then? It, it, it's a pipeline that has gas in it. <laughs> oh, all right. I, I think I got one of them. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, so, sometimes I let gas out and other stuff comes with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wear the pins. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The official adult diaper of Congress. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, if you don't wear the pants, then f*** you. Guys, seriously, what is the deal? I mean, why is everyone complaining about gas? 
If you don't want to pay for gas, it's super simple, okay? You just go down to the magical car store and buy an electric vehicle, okay? Super, super simple. You just pick out a $57,000 electric car, pull out your big, mystical, super terrific, sparkly checkbook, and buy it, okay? Stop being poor. That's your problem. You guys are being poor. Stop it. Oh my gosh, I think I'm pregnant. Are you sure it's yours? <laughs> I think it's mine. Hey. What? What starts with W and ends with AC? <laughs> um, I don't know. What? That's right. What's right? What? 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 Wait, what? Right. Right what? Exactly. <laughs> exactly what? Yes. Yes what? I know. You know what? No, you do. I do what? You do. <laughs> what? Uh, this isn't good. <laughs> I don't know. We've got a problem. Squirrel. Well, due to the overwhelming rise in gas prices. Gas? We're going to have to have mandatory lockdowns. All right. What's that? Everybody's going to need to filter in place until this gas stomach is over. That's smart. That's smart. Yeah. It's going to take at least two weeks to flatten the gas price curve. All right. I can sleep for like a couple days in. In the meantime, everybody should be buying an electric car. Electric cars. That runs on gas, right? Yeah. And if you don't have money, uh, if you don't have money, you're electric broke. Car, poor people. They just walk. Yeah. Poor people are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stop being poor. Stop being poor. Be like me and Hunter. <laughs> We're rich. You got bills. They're multiplying. <laughs> and you're losing your home. Price of gas now has got you crying. <laughs> it's terrifying. Gas prices is, right? <laughs> gas prices is your or is is your or. <laughs> Who cares? Look out so the ice prices ice, ice prices is. <laughs> House drinker, do you plan to help Americans? Uh, do I plan to do what? Do you plan to help? I heard what you said, okay? <laughs> Not Jeff. And how dare you ask me if I plan to help Americans? I'm Catholic for crying out loud. Of course I'm going to help Americans. Well, it just seems like you're more interested in helping the Ukraine versus helping your own country. What did you just say? I, I said you... You shut your mouth when you're talking to me. But I just... Silence! Think my job is easy? Well, I mean... I wasn't asking you, okay? You're all sitting out there and asking your silly little unimportant questions while I deal with real problems every day? You think it's easy to control a nation? That's preposterous! Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are. It will beat you to your knees and leave you there permanently if you let it. You, me, and nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. <laughs> what does this have to do with helping America? Because it's not about how hard you hit, okay? It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How how much you can say and keep moving forward. But if you must know, um, yes, um, I am more interested in helping Ukraine out right now because um, <laughs> they need more help than America does. Okay. But but shouldn't America come first? Shouldn't America come first? <laughs> Of course not. America is doing just fine. Madame Drinker, America is not doing fine. Uh, are you calling me a liar? No. Because I'll have you arrested right now if you're calling me a liar. I I'm not. That's what I thought. So, <laughs> back to your question. Yes, America is doing fine, all right? Just, just look at how high, uh, just, just, just look at how expensive gas prices is, right? <laughs> gas prices is your or is, is your or. <laughs> Who cares? Look how so the ice princess is. Ice princess is. Ice princess is. No, cash, 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 cash princess is. Cash princess. Cash princess. Princess is the cash. Anyway, the cash princess is. I just. The cash princess is expensive. Um, look how high the cash prices are, right? It, it costs like um, seven bucks for a gallon of gas. <laughs> you know, it's like. And, and, and you know what? Seven dollars for a gallon of gas. And I see cars driving all over the place, so... These peasants can obviously afford it. <laughs> no, they can't. Well, it's not my fault. <laughs> House Drinker, it actually is your fault. Well, I didn't make them poor. But, but... But, but, but nothing, okay? You can shove your butts in a sack, you son of a bitch! Oh, great. Gosh darn it. Look what you've done. You got me all moist, and now my scissors are falling out because of your stupid questions! <laughs> Look! I don't make
make peasants poor, okay? And I don't make myself rich, okay? I'm rich because I'm rich. And peasants are poor because they're poor. <laughs> it's the circle of life, okay? It's not like I have some magical way to get millions and millions of dollars and stay rich for the rest of my life. Because <laughs> believe me, if there was, I would let everyone know. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I need to, um... Fix my dentures and um, there's a bottle of vodka calling my name. <laughs> Good night, Pessies! Chuck, we got a problem. What are you talking about, Nancy? Everything's going great! Really, Chuck? Huh? Really? Yeah! Well, it's not, Chuck, okay? People are stupid. Yeah, well, don't you think that people are gonna figure it out? Figure what out? Show's dead! So what? Hey! You hear that, Joe? He can't hear you, Nancy! He's dead! How are we gonna get him to talk? Hey, you two! Stop screwing around! Oh, uh, let's put Joe down! Uh, I just pooped my pants! Oh, Nancy, it's I so can heavy. smell it! Oh, oh that's gosh. gross! I don't pay you morons to think! So you better figure something out real quick, or you'll be hanging out with Jeffrey! Alright, we need to prop him up so he doesn't fall down. Alright, I'll prop him up right now! What the hell is taking so long? Hey, Chuck! Grab Hillary's and put it in Joe's mouth so his lips stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant! How do you come up with these things? I've been in politics for 33 years, Chuck. I'm pretty good at what I do. <laughs> ah, this turned out great! Good job, Nancy! Thanks, hey, Chuck. Now we just gotta act normal so no one catches on. <laughs> Nothing weird going on here! <laughs> Order in your course! <laughs> your Honor, I would like to sue Facebook and Twitter. I am sick! What? Another word out of you, and I'll hold you in contempt. <laughs> Your Honor, don't I get a chance to speak? No! You will be forever silent! Judge Nancy, I, I didn't do anything! Yeah, I didn't do anything either. Trump's just a big bully. Yeah, he makes me cry! Yeah, uh, his tweets are so mean. Hey, Squirt Bottle, I'd like to submit a truckload of evidence as Exhibit A. <laughs> I am sick! No one wants to hear your pile of evidence, Mr. Poopy Pants. <laughs> People only want to hear what Mark and Jack allow them to hear. <laughs> but these guys are censoring free speech. I didn't do anything. No, I didn't do anything either, bro. Ah, uh, you're both liars and a disgrace to this country. Um, well, for your information, I spend every day listening to John Denver while holding the American flag. Yeah, I like totally kiss the flag every day. Your Honor. These two don't care about America. They care about getting rich and censoring the truth. I am sick! Your Honor, I would never censor the truth. I, I just let people see what I want them to see. Yeah, I do the same exact thing, bro. I, I believe both of you, okay? Um, and I got the money you sent me. <laughs> this case is dismissed! But Your Honor, I have proof. Proof? You don't have proof. Yeah, I do. I got lots of proof. I'm not interested in proof, okay? <laughs> I'm interested in facts, all right? And these two fine gentlemen said they didn't do anything wrong. And, um, with the amount of money that they sent me, <laughs> I believe them. America needs to hear the truth. I'm holding you in contempt of court. Bailiff, take him away. Hello, peasants. <laughs> hey, is anybody else out there got your eyebrows done? Or is it just me? Um... <laughs> like, uh, as, uh, every time I get the eyebrows done, I feel fancy. <laughs> I feel like I'm a fancy girl. Um, <laughs> what else? Um, oh, just check my bank account. It's, um, <laughs> $120 million. <laughs> Not too shabby. Um, that's why I don't really understand why everybody's complaining about gas prices. It's like, <laughs> I can afford it, you know, and I've only got $120 million in the bank. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand why people can't afford gas. It's, it's not that much. Um, let's see. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> Almost lost my dentures there. <laughs> Can you see my eyes? Can you see my pupils? <laughs> Anyways, um, oh, Joe Biden's doing a great job. He's doing exactly everything we tell him to do. And, um, that's why he's doing a great job. Um, let's see. Um, oh, Chris Rock and <laughs> Will Smith are in the news. And, um, that'll keep your mind off of Epstein's client list. <laughs> and, um, Hunter Biden's, um, Laptop? <laughs> you guys are so easy to distract. It's like, all we gotta do is yell out, Look over there! And you guys look, you know? <laughs> Meanwhile, we politicians are just doing whatever we want because, um, 
You know, you're too busy worrying about the sanctity of an award show. <laughs> uh, you guys, you guys and your actors. <laughs> um, well, let's see, um, Hillary Clinton is still free. <laughs> um, you know, it, it, it's like, all you people out there who say, like, Hillary Clinton hasn't accomplished anything, I say that's false. False, false information. <laughs> Hillary Clinton has done a lot, all right? <laughs> and, um, she's managed to stay out of prison her entire career. <laughs> Me and uh, Hillary share a lot in common. Um, anyways, um, what else is going on? Let's see. Um, oh, Disney World. Um, do you guys mind making all gender bathrooms? <laughs> that would be nice. And I think that that would probably solve all of this. <laughs> Governor DeSantis, um, you know, you and that other guy, Clarence Thomas, you guys, you guys don't belong in politics, okay? You guys belong as Walmart greasers. <laughs> and that's... Saying a lot. Um, let me tell you, uh, if there's any advice that I can give all of you, that's, that's how I'm gonna close this up, because I'm, it's, my makeup's starting to kind of melt. <laughs> my gender cream is starting to expire, and my eyebrows do not feel, wait a second, hang on, uh, yep, I think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> wait, hold on, nope, wasn't a stroke. I just farted. <laughs> Whoa, smells like meat up here. <laughs> like a, like a, like a, oh gosh, I'm gonna, well, Nancy, what did you eat? <laughs> smells like beef jerky. Um, if I could give any of you patients out there any advice whatsoever, it would be this. Stop being poor, okay? Stop it, right now. Stop being poor, okay? I'm tired of giving you patients money. <laughs> Whoa, that just gave me a headache. You guys out there, Stop being poor. Buy an electric car. Get a big house. Buy all the groceries that you want. And get some gas. <laughs> but stop being poor. And stop complaining. <laughs> I got a pretty dope sense of humor, bro. So, um, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh, my bank account just let me know that I got another $50,000. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to head to the country club. Good night, peasants. <clears throat> Mr. President. Are, are, are you talking to me? Um, we have a little bit of a problem. What is it? Did, did, did I poop my pants? No, um, do you want to tell him? <laughs> uh, Mr. President, I'm sorry to tell you this, but, um, I lied. Again. <laughs> That's all right. I, I lie all the time. I lie, too. Uh, me too. I lie a lot. I lie every day. <laughs> I'm always lying. Why <laughs> is my middle name? I like to lie on national TV. <laughs> oh, I love lying on TV. I like to lie. My whole life is a lie. <laughs> I, I like to lie, too. <laughs> yeah, lying is fun. You know, I mean, uh, 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 especially when, uh, uh, when you get away with it. <laughs> and I always get away with it. Max, you're in the house. Switch the section. <laughs> oh, crap. It's the cops. It's all right, Nancy. You're just a little drunk. Keep it cool. <laughs> um, is there a problem, officer? Just doing a random cootie check. Random cootie check? Yeah, random cootie check. It's a new law. So you just stop people to see if they have cooties? No, I stop people to make sure they got their cooties shot. Oh, okay. <laughs> have you got your cooties shot? Uh, what, what happens if I choose? Well, I'll impal your car and take you to jail. Are you serious? Oh, I'm serious. I take DWU very seriously. CWU? Yep. Is that like driving while he's drunk? No, I'm afraid DWU is far more serious than that. Well, well what's CWU? <laughs> um, driving while unvaccinated. Okay? You're kidding, right? Nope. A a am I being punked? Nope. Is this a joke? Nope, I'm afraid not. Uh, we here at the CCP don't joke about the cootie shot. Okay. What, what's the CCP? Cootie check patrol. Next question. House drinker, are the people blaming the Democrats? That's preposterous. <laughs> you know, the people aren't blaming the Democrats, okay? They're blaming Republicans. Democrats aren't doing anything, all right? It's the Republicans who are responsible for all of this, all right? All they care about is the Constitution, you know? Free and fair elections, lower gas prices, and creating jobs. <laughs> Democrats are just trying to get rich, okay? You want to blame somebody for high gas prices? You blame Putin. You, you want to blame somebody because your business shut down or... You can't feed your family? You can blame Trump. <laughs> I'm just so sick and tired of peasants blaming us. You know, we, we don't care how much you pay to pump. We don't care if you're broke. 
who are really trying to give money to other countries. Because that's what we care about the most. And that's what you should care about too. <laughs> hey, what, what were we just talking about? You have symptoms, Joe. I don't have any symptoms. No symptoms is a symptom. Well, I feel fine. Feeling fine is a symptom, Joe. It is? Yeah. Did you happen to go to the bathroom today? Well, I didn't go to the bathroom, but I farted. Farting is a symptom. Farting is a symptom? Yep. Farting is a symptom. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Hey, it's the little guy. Hey, little guy. Did you get the sing? Yep, check it out. Turned out pretty good. Turned out great. What is that, the fan? You guys are always calling me a little Very guy. Very professional. But look at me now. What? <laughs> wow. So this is what a hero looks like. <laughs> yep. Not all heroes wear capes. But this hero is saving lives. What, what, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, man, I need some water. Wait a minute. Can he just say... Yep. He said he needed water. Yeah, I need water. So what? Needing water is a symptom. Yep. But, but I drink water all the time. You, you drink oh. water all the time? Oh. Yeah, Drinking so? water all the time oh. is a symptom, Joe. Oh, man. I, I need to lay down. Laying down is a symptom. Yeah, laying down is a symptom. What, well, then I'll stand up. Standing up is a symptom. This isn't good. We need to get you tested right away. Tested for what? I feel good. Feeling good is a symptom, Joe. Joe? Yeah? Let me ask you something. Uh, all right. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm pretty hungry right now. Oh, no. Just as I suspected. Oh, my what? gosh. This is worse than I saw. What? 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 Eating is a symptom. Yep. Well, well then, then I won't eat. Well, not eating is a symptom. That's true. Well, well, then I'll eat. So, I already told you that eating is a symptom. Hey, come on, man. Joe, are you breathing right now? Good question. Yep, yeah, I, I think I'm breathing. Well, 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 hang on. Let me see. Ah. <sighs> yep, yep, I'm breathing. Oh, uh, my gosh. You gotta get the thing. Is the, is the thing approved? Approved? It doesn't matter if it's approved. Well, I'll wait till it's approved. <laughs> You're gonna wait till it's approved? Oh, uh, well, yeah, I'm gonna uh, wait. So God. You're just gonna wait around with symptoms until so the selfish. thing is approved? Yeah, uh, so what? You're oh, so my God. selfish. Uh, come on, man. If you don't get your thing, then my thing won't work. Uh, That's uh, come on, man. I, I gotta go to the bathroom. Going oh, to the my bathroom uh, is a symptom. This video is gonna tell you all the symptoms of the thing. The, the thing? What, 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 what's the thing? Just watch the video and you'll find out. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what the thing is. Watch, just the, watch video, the video, Joe. Joe. Right? Don't tell me what come the thing is. Come on, you're a big guy. Come on. Hey, 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 who put this little guy in charge anyway? We need yeah. to take this more seriously. Yeah, yeah, come on, watch man. The video. We're here live with... Nancy, your eyebrows. Cut. We're here with a house drinker who has some <laughs> important news. Go ahead, Nancy. Hello, peasants. Um, due to recent events, um... I, along with the entire Democratic Party, have decided to fire our private security teams. Our thoughts and prayers will be our weapons from now on. <laughs> we will no longer support anyone who owns a gun. So today, I'm advising all of you peasants out there to do the same. <laughs> if you want a gun, turn it in. Get rid of it. You don't need it. Our thoughts and prayers are all the protection you need. You got a problem? Our thoughts and prayers are just a sweeter, sweeter way. <laughs> we'll protect you. Somebody breaking into your house? Don't worry about it. Our thoughts and prayers are at your service. With our thoughts and prayers, you won't have to worry about being afraid anymore. Our thoughts and prayers will save the day. So today, be a brave peasant. Be a hero like us. <laughs> Give up your guns and let our thoughts and prayers be the only weapon you'll ever need. <laughs> and cut! Good job, everybody. Great show. <laughs> I could barely keep a straight face while I was saying all that. <laughs> so you really fired your private security team? Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> of course not. Um, we're, we're actually hiring more uh, private security. So I, I just said that because um, we want all the peasants out there to be unarmed and unable to protect themselves and their families. Um... Because when that happens, we can do whatever we want. <laughs> but what about the Constitution? Constitution? <laughs> what Constitution? My name's Nancy, and I'm an alcoholic. This is communion, not AA. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, um, I meant to say I'm here for my communion. Nope. Nope? Yep. I I I'm sorry, are you saying nope or yep? I'm saying nope. So you're refusing me communion? Yep. You're racist! Why can't I have it? You know why. Oh, come on, man. Because it lasts? Yep. It's not like I'm doing it. <laughs> I got five kids. Like, 40 grandkids. 
Move along, please. Well, I, I'm just supporting it for votes. I, I don't believe in it. <laughs> but in order to stay rich and powerful, you know, I gotta do it. <laughs> you understand, right? Go away. No communion for you! <laughs> Whatever, man. You think I need your cheap bread and water down wine? I'm rich. If you want communion, you know what to do. All right, all right. Just let me get my votes and then I'll switch it back up. <laughs> Since, um, oh my gosh, so good to see you. You get a 33 billion I sent you? <laughs> oh, your breath stinks! Oh. <laughs> Sorry, um, it, it was a long flight and I, I didn't have time to rinse off my dentures. <laughs> so, um, have you been enjoying the money I sent you? Yes, um, did you fart? You can smell that? Yes! Sorry. Um, it, it actually started off as a butt whisper, but, um, <laughs> it ended up being a really moist shark, so. <laughs> Do you need to take a shower? No, 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 I mean, it's okay. I'm wearing the pants. Um, hey, you got anything to drink? Nancy, I would like to present to you the Money Launderer of the Year Award. Wow, this is such an honor. Thank you. You earned it. So many people I want to thank. I mean, the American taxpayers, without you peasants, none of this would be possible. You have a gift for laundering money, Nancy. Oh, you're going to make me cry. Can we go to the Standard Hotel now? Not now, Adam. I'm busy. But I'm hungry. Adam, you be quiet. You hear me? Be quiet. I want hot dogs and pasta. Damn it, Adam. Not now, okay? Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> Adam just loves his hot dogs and pasta. I know. All right. I guess this is goodbye. Goodbye? Yes, goodbye. Thirty-three billion dollars and you throw me out like a giant store what? hooker? Is there another woman? Is that what this is about? Uh, I will not be ignored! I don't know what to say. I'll save you the trouble! I want a divorce! I am your wife's number two! Okay. I'm taking the kids and going to my mother's, you cheater! Um, don't call me. Woke one one, how can I help you? <laughs> uh, so, so, uh, somebody's breaking into my house! Okay, before we get started, I would like to send my thoughts and prayers on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that, that actually makes me feel a lot better! All right, thoughts and prayers are $25. Do so you have a major credit card? A uh, major credit card for thoughts and prayers? Yes, but let's just add that to your shopping cart. <laughs> All right, well, uh, uh, they're still breaking into my house, though. Okay, I'm going to need you to stay calm. All right, I'm calm, I'm calm. Yeah, would you like a private security guard? <laughs> yeah, that, that would work. Okay, good. We actually have a specialist with um, two security guards for the price of one. Are you interested? Yeah, I mean, two for the price of one. I mean, that, that, that's a good deal. Good. I have actually chosen this package for myself. <laughs> okay, um, do you need these security officers to have weapons? Well, well, it looks like these guys have weapons, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so one weapon will cost $450 per hour. Um, would you like to add bullets? Yeah, I better add those, too. Okay, so, um, it's gonna be $5,000 for... 20 bullets. Um, would you like to add pepper spray with that? Wait, 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 wait. That, that, that seems like an awful lot of money for bullets. Sure. You can't put a price on safety. Um, oh, I'm also going to have to add a privilege tax of 50%. Pr uh, 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 did you say privilege tax? Yes, privilege tax. Uh, you're white, right? Uh, uh yeah, but, but uh, can you hurry and send somebody quick? I mean, these, these guys have made it into my head. <laughs> um, sir? Sir? Nancy, it's Paul. I need your help. Pelosi! Yeah? You got a visitor. Oh, Paul. Are you okay? I don't know, Nancy. Prison changes a man. But you've only been here for 20 minutes. I don't even know what it's like on the outside anymore. I'm gonna bail you out, Paul. It's gonna be okay. I'm afraid. Prison is all I know. I, I think I'm institutionalized. You don't know what it's like in here. I'm gonna get you help. I think you might have... A drinking problem. I don't have a drinking problem. Really? Then what about your brother, Paul? I was only 16. It doesn't matter. You're an alcoholic. No, you're an alcoholic. How dare you? I'm not drunk. Yes, you are. You take that back. Why do you think I drink? I drink because you drink. You're right, Paul. I do have a problem. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm drunk right now. I'm always drunk. I'm still kind of buzzed, too. I can change, Paul. For you. It's too late. This is my new home. I'm gonna bail you out, Paul. My name's Paula now. Come on, Paul. Will a conjugal visit change your mind? <laughs> yeah. I'm not that drunk. <laughs>
Nancy! What? Nancy! What? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Paul. What do you want? Hey, I, I need you to drive me to the store. Well, you're gonna have to wait, Paul. I'm busy at the drag show. But I need to go to the store. Did you hear what I said? I said I'm busy doing drag, okay? <laughs> but I need a ride. Well, you should have saw that before you got your car struck. I'm sorry. You're always sorry, Paul. You've embarrassed me for the last time. I said I was sorry. I said I was sorry. You know they released your mugshot today, Paul? They did? Yeah, they did. And because of you, I am now the joke of American politics. I'm sorry. People took me seriously. People look up to me. And now because of your drunk driving, nobody takes me serious anymore. So can you take me to the store or not? Paul, you get out of that car you shit shit. But it's hot out. I don't care. I'm busy doing track, okay? Drag comes first. Drag is what America is all about. And drag is certainly more important than you, Paul! You go, girl! Can I get two snaps in Z-formation? Today we're joined with house drinker Nancy Pelosi. Uh, jeez! Rough night? Yeah, I feel like I'm still at the bar. <laughs> so you were celebrating? Every night's a celebration. How could you be celebrating? Well, it's simple, really. <laughs> You just order a couple of bottles of vodka. But how could you celebrate? The Republicans are taking over. Well, first off, good morning. <laughs> it's Sunday. Yeah, but? But nothing, okay? <laughs> Look, I've been, I've been doing this for a long time. And when I say there's nothing to worry about, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> you seem pretty confident. Oh, I'm more than confident. <laughs> I'm 100% sure. <laughs> but what about inflation? Uh, change your record. Inflation. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but isn't inflation important? Change the subject, okay? You know, it's like, inflation is a worldwide phenomenon. For, for, I mean, um, inflation is a phenomenon. Are you trying to say phenomenon? I, I'm rich, okay? I, I have mansions, expensive cars. I, I'm doing great. I'm, 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 we're not concerned with inflation. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Well, it kind of matters. Let me ask you a question. Would you rather I be rich, or do you want to worry about inflation? Um, exactly. Next question. Are the Democrats going to win? <laughs> Are the Democrats going to win? I don't know. Are they? Of course they're going to win. They already won. They did? Yeah. And you can say that to the best. <laughs> um, when did they win? Um, I can't tell you. It's a secret. <laughs> How could they win already? Aren't they still, you know, voting? <laughs> That's cute. Still voting. <laughs> You're such a cute kid. So innocent, full of wonder. But uh, in all seriousness, I can't tell you for a week. Are you worried about the Republicans? Why would I? <laughs> the Republicans don't want to help America. They want to make it great. Who wants to live in a great America? Not me. What about your husband? What about him? His DUI? Jail time? Good morning. It's Sunday. <laughs> what about insider trading? Good morning. It's Sunday. <laughs> Nancy? It's actually, um, house drinker. Sorry. House drinker. Term limits? What about it? Well, don't you think America is ready for younger people to run the country? Why, why would they want younger people to run the country? I mean, come on, I, I, I'm, I'm still young. I, I, I'm, I'm in my prime. <laughs> really? I mean, you're like almost 100. Yeah, but 100 is like a new 60. What? Look, I, I've been in politics for almost um, 40 years, and trust me, it don't matter what your people think. <laughs> Welcome back to January 6th Theater. I'm your host, Nancy. And I'm your host, Nancy. It's been a very productive couple of days, huh? Yes, it has, Nancy. And it looks like the January 6th Theater is just about to start. The Honorable Judge Pelosi is coming out. Order in the court! Your Honor, Nancy Pelosi is innocent. And it's all Trump's fault. It's all <laughs> Trump's fault. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> call your first witness. I call Nancy Pelosi. Miss Pelosi. Yes? Where were you on January 6th, running for my life from Trump supporters? And how would you describe January 6th? The darkest day in American history. I agree. I agree, too. And now, introducing the January 6th chasers. Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> that was pretty good. Um, Miss Pelosi. Yes? Who is responsible for the darkest day in American history? There's only one man that can do such a horrible thing. And that man's name is Ray Epps. I, I, I mean, I mean, excuse me. <laughs> that man's name is Donald Trump. Your Honor, please stricken Ray Epps' name from the record. 
Oh, I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> Your Honor, the evidence is clear. Nancy Pelosi is innocent, and Donald Trump is guilty. Then it shall be done. Bailiff, it's all Trump's fault. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe they did this. This is truly the darkest day in American history. I can't breathe. The Supreme Court denied all genders control over their own bodies. So now my uncle has to have a baby? Oh, my nephew is going to be best. How could they do this? You know, men and women can't have rights. Okay? Babies don't even, like, have rights. Babies can't even talk, okay? The right to choose has, like, totally been taken away. I mean, what's next? Gonna take away our right to vote? Huh? Babies can't even vote! Babies can't do anything, all right? <laughs> I mean, babies, like, don't even, like, know what a garbage disposal is. I know, I know. I mean, so, like, what's next? Men and women have to be responsible and use birth control? I don't want to use birth control, <laughs> yuck! You know what? Maybe I like getting abortions. Yeah, my body, my choice. Well, you know what? I guess it's time to peacefully protest. Yep, we're uh, going to peacefully let everybody know that we're upset. <laughs> we're going to flood every street in America with our tears. Hey, this is what happens when Democrats don't get their way, all right? I can't stop crying. And this is all Trump's fault. You hear me? <laughs> Forgive me for not saying good morning, but this is the darkest day. In American history. I thought January 6th was the darkest day. Hey, you stand up straight when you're talking to me. But, but, but nothing. You shut your mouth when you ask me a question. Do you understand? This is serious. People are dying. But abortion is a baby dying. Don't you dare have an opinion. The only opinion that matters is mine. And everyone else who agrees with me. I'm just sick to my stomach. This is all Trump's fault. He wanted this. He just ripped up the Constitution and wiped his butt with it. Abortion is a constitutional right. Look it up! Men and women are now forced to have babies. This isn't right. This is criminal. These poor victims of this horrible tragedy have been writing me letters all day asking me for help. The suffering is real. Like this letter from Bill. Dear Nancy, my name is Bill. My wife got me pregnant last night without my permission. What am I gonna do now? I'm so sorry, Bill. My heart breaks for you, but because of Trump and those racist judges, unfortunately, you have to give birth to that baby. Does that make you happy, Brett Kavanaugh? You pervert! Here's another heartbreaking letter from Trudy. Dear Nancy, my name is Trudy. I seen it on my husband again and got pregnant for the sixth time in three months. What am I gonna do? My husband's white. He's gonna find out. You'd have to be made of steel not to be heartbroken by that. This poor, responsible woman's marriage is now at risk because of racist judges who took away a man and a woman's right to choose. And this poor fellow writes, you enter the Roosevelt Room and say hello to your participants. You take your seat and, um, oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I must have gotten uh, Joe Biden's two cars by mistake. Nancy, <laughs> what about your husband's DUI? What did you just say? I said It doesn't you... matter what you said! My husband is innocent! He was set up from the word show! His false accusations are not important right now! He was charged with a DUI! Whatever happened to innocent before proven guilty, huh? I mean, men and women's rights to choose have been sucked away like a vacuum. <laughs> And you're worried about lies being told about my husband? Women and men will now be punished and arrested for protecting their health. These are responsible heroes we're talking about. It's not like they're a dangerous racist group of concerned parents at a PCA meeting. No. These are heroes. We just don't want to be pregnant. Screw you, Clarence Thomas! No more questions! We're joined today with shover of the house, Nancy Pelosi. Nancy, welcome to the show. I'm sorry, did you just call me Shover of the House? Yep, that's what was on the teleprompter. Is, is there a reason why you're calling me Shover of the House? Well, there's the video of you shoving a little girl. That's a fake video! It is? Obviously. Oh. I would never shove a child. I'm Catholic, all right? I love children. I didn't shove that girl. You didn't? No. Actually, I gave her a big hug and free tickets to Disneyland. So the video's fake? Because the little girl's mother even spoke about it. The mother's in on it! The mother's in on it? Yeah. Huh. I had a feeling. She's a Republican, isn't she? Yes, but I treat Republicans with the highest respect. I always have. It's my job. That is true. The video has clearly been manipulated by Putin in a desperate attempt to get me fired. But it was on live TV. Yeah, I know. These guys are good. 
Really good. Elon Musk probably funded the whole operation. I mean, I almost believed it when I saw it. You did? Yeah, I did. Because <laughs> I actually, um, I actually don't remember actually being at the photo shoot. <laughs> you don't? No, I was, uh, <laughs> I was pretty hammered, but, um, yeah, the, the video isn't real. It's, it's an edited video, because... I say this, and it's almost positive that Trump has something to do with it. <laughs> so you think Putin and Trump did this? Absolutely. Um, they're also responsible for my husband's DUI. What? Oh, yeah. It's true. But how? Well, while my sober husband was at a stop sign, Trump pretended to be a carjacker and made my husband smell a rag with chloroform on it. And then Putin poured a whole bottle of vodka down his throat. Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. These guys are doing everything in their power to get me fired. So, what's next? Well, today I'm following the articles of impeachment to impeach Donald Trump for editing a live video of me and for setting up my husband. Have you <laughs> spoken to the little girl that everyone thinks you shot? Of course. We're like best friends. Oh, <laughs> she actually just checked me right now. She says, hey, Grandma. She calls me Grandma. She says, can I come and live with you, Grandma? <laughs> Aw. Yeah, she's my little angel. Well, thanks for clearing that up. Yeah, anytime. What I can Order in your choice. <laughs> Judge Pelosi, are the rumors about Donald Trump true? Unfortunately, yes. We have a whistleblower. You have yes. a whistleblower? Yes, that is correct. Donald Trump is guilty! We got him. We got him. <laughs> we got him. So it's all over. all over. So what happened? Well, Excuse me, Adam. <laughs> I'll answer this. Sorry. So, we've been in contact with the whistleblower hero, who has come forward and told us word for word what happens on the darkest day in American history. Roe versus Wade? No. The other talk is day in history. Well, what happened? Trump is guilty! That's what Liz, happened! Shut up! Sorry! <laughs> so, we've been told by an expert witness that Donald Trump followed two Secret Service agents to the nearby subway. He's a criminal! Donald Trump then grabbed the two officers by their throats and did a racist karate kick while screaming, Wuhan! Racist! And then he threw them on the ground. Then what happened? He poured bleach on them yep. and made them sing the national anthem. It's racist! true! Trump then danced while they sang. And then, and then he said, Trump is guilty! What did he say? I can't even say it. He's ah, taking out of here. This is mega country. Is there any video no, of this? um, there's no video. It's well, how are we supposed to believe that any of this is true if there's no video? Because I said it's true. End quote. Um, repeat last line. Uh, <laughs> see here. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this son of a bitch uh, once uh, and for all. Li uh, little tiny short shorts. Tinkleberry smarts. Ha have it, uh... Oh, hell no! Apple eat the dog. The carpet stinks. <laughs> Nancy, what are you doing? Get out of here, Kamala. Just go get sure <laughs> you. Uh, 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 Kamala is the president of the United States. <laughs> Stop it, Kamala. I'm going to be president. No, I'm going to be president. <laughs> Give me that keyboard. Get off of me. <laughs> I, I, I'm just kidding. Nancy's going to be president. No, no I'm, I'm going to be president. No, I'm going to be president. <laughs> Joe Stutt. Joe Stutt. It's my turn. Uh, 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 Kamala is the president of the United States. Repeat. Cuss <laughs> it. Nancy Pelosi is the president of the United States. Snarful, flarful, whippy, wappy. Uh, uh, I'm going to be the president. Uh, uh, no, I'm going to be the president. I'm just kidding. Nancy's going to be president. No, I'm going to be president. Uh, <laughs> Obama's the president. That was just too easy. I'm his bitch. I do whatever he says, <laughs> and my son stays out of prison. <laughs> Obama out, bitch. Hello, peasants. <laughs> Because it's force of sorry, <laughs> I always puke when I try and say that. Anyways, um, because I hate this holiday so much, um, I think it's time for me to come clean about a few things that I think you all should know. <laughs> First off, um, there are no sides when it comes to politics. There's no Republicans and there's no Democrats. <laughs> there's only haves and have nots. We have and you don't. <laughs> there's only so many seats at the table, and quite frankly. You peasants don't even have a share to sit on. Checks and balances don't even exist. That's just something that we say to keep you all busy. <laughs> you really think you have rights? You really think you have freedom? <laughs> you have what we say you have. And that's it. This isn't about your freedom. This is about control. We have it, and you don't. <laughs> We're doing this to say in power. You think we care about the Declaration of Independence? <laughs> I, for one, can't stand this country. But nobody questions us, because we own everything. We control it all, and... There's nothing you can do about it. Free speech? <laughs> yeah, right. You want the truth? The truth is what I say it is! And that's the end of it. <laughs> Everything around you, it's all bullshit. This is all a show. A show that keeps us in power and you in need of help. <laughs> that's why me and Joe can go on live TV and tell everybody this is about freedom, not oil. <laughs> and nobody questions it, because you all know it's a lie. 
Anyways, have fun celebrating a holiday that doesn't even exist. Good night, peasants. <laughs> Paul? Paul! What? 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 I'm trying to sleep. No, you're not. I see you. Huh? You're checking out all the whores on the beach. No, no, I'm not, Nancy. I swear. Yeah, right. <laughs> you haven't looked at me once. I I'm looking at you right now. <sighs> you're not looking at me, Paul. Okay? You don't even notice me anymore. I'm wearing this sexy bikini for you. Ugh. Don't you think I'm sexy, Paul? I, I just got a lot going on right now, Nancy. I oh, what? Your GUI? Yeah. I already told you. I took care of it. It's not that, though. It's, it's... Then what is it, Paul? Uh, Am I not sexy enough for you? Uh, is my skin not sexy enough for you? Uh, Are my eyebrows not high enough for you like your Instagram whores? I don't even use Instagram, Nancy. That's right. You use Pornhub. Uh, you don't think I know what you're doing in the bathroom? Well, I, I don't do anything. I, That's uh, a lie. What? I hear you. The whole neighborhood hears you. What? You want I... to count on yourself with your cash chasing boner pills? No, no I don't. I, I don't. And, and what about your strip clubs, Paul? What? Huh? And the massage parlors? Wait, what? Is that what you like? What, what are you talking about? Oh, I... You think I didn't know? <laughs> well, no, what? I know what you like, Paul. What? You like it here. You're a dirty birdie, Paul. No, I'm not. Just I'm face not... it. I'm just a wrinkled up old prune. No, you're not. Hey, I... come to me, Paul. Take me right here, uh, right now, in front of everyone. Prove your love for me. Come on, Paul. What are you waiting for? It's so moist. Can <laughs> uh, I, uh, I turn boy. you on? What's wrong, Paul? Take me to bed or lose me forever. <laughs> I, I, I'm just really tired right I now. Knew it. You've lost that loving feeling. You never close your eyes anymore when I like kiss your lips. <laughs> I'm gonna pee. Hello, peasants. <laughs> As many of you know, women don't have rights anymore. What's a woman? And it's up to you to get women their rights back. What's a woman? You know, the most important thing that any of you can do today is to help get women their rights back. I still don't know what a woman the is. The only way that's going to happen is for you peasants out there to send me money. I don't <laughs> have any money. I, I send myself money, but... Unfortunately, I'm down to my last hundred and thirty million dollars. I don't even have lint in my pocket! I'm struggling, okay? I know a lot of you out there don't even know what it's like to struggle, but I do. I haven't eaten for four days! But we're not here to talk about my struggle. We're here to talk about getting women's rights back. What's a woman?! And the only way that's gonna happen is if you send me money! I don't have any money! I, I send myself money, but like I said, I'm barely scraping by with the... Hundred and thirty million dollars that I have left. I've been dehydrated for four days! But I don't need my money. No. I need your money. I can't even afford a gallon of gas! Yeah, I know. Gas prices are high, food is expensive, and you probably don't even have a job right now. I'm unemployed and homeless! But if you want to make a difference, if you want to get women to rights back, then do the right thing. Send me your money today. What's a woman? Good night, peasant! Hey, you, um... <laughs> You, you want to hear a joke? Oh my gosh, I love <laughs> jokes. Two black guys walk into a bar. Wow. What? Racist much? Okay, um, <laughs> two white guys walk into a bar. <laughs> Hello? Where's the diversity? Okay, um, a white guy and a black guy walk into a bar. <laughs> and the women? What? Where's the women at? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I actually just, um, I actually just found out what a woman was, so... Uh. Okay, um... <laughs> a black woman and a white guy walk into a bar. And you're assuming people's gender is white? I, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> and, and why are they in a bar? Scary things happen in a bar. I should know. Okay. Uh, okay. Two gender non-conforming individuals walk into an establishment of your choosing. <laughs> okay, I like where this is going. And then something happens. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> And then something happens that doesn't offend you. <laughs> I love this joke. Yeah. I, I thought you liked it. Ascension, peasant earthlings. <laughs> we have an important message. So listen up. I, I, I'm going to shut it down, America. Yo, um, no, you're not, Joe. I, I'm not Joe? No, you're Joe, but you're not going to shut it down. You, like, totally failed me, Joe. I got this because of you! So you're telling me I failed? Yeah, you failed us, Joe. So now it's up to me to shut it down for you. Yeah, no, he has to shut it down for you. What? Hey, Nancy, where'd your eyebrows go? I had them removed. Uh, are eyebrows and leg hair like the same thing? You look fantastic, Nancy. Thanks. Your face, it's so smooth. This is my first time getting plastic surgery. I, I remember my first plastic surgery. 
Is you? My name wasn't Joe. Your name wasn't Joe? No, I, I had a different name 47 years ago. You had a different name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom used to call me my, uh, my brother's name. I haven't seen your brother for a long time, Joe. Yeah, Joe. me yeah. neither. I don't know. Peasants of the world. <laughs> With the help of Dr. Fauci, we have constructed a new way to beat this. Wait, well, if I couldn't beat it, I, how, how are you going to beat it? We're going to saran wrap Earth. You're going to do what? We're going to saran wrap Earth. <laughs> Actually, instead of saran wraps, we need to develop a giant Tupperware container. A giant Tupperware container? Th did you say you want a salami sandwich with no onions? If we create a piece of Tupperware large enough to cover the whole planet, we just might beat this thing. You did it! You're a genius! I did it! I finally beat it! Not you, Joe. You didn't do anything. <laughs> hey, come on, man! <laughs> this is what happens when everybody wants to date you! You patients have eyebrow jokes, huh? <laughs> well, starting today, eyebrows are illegal! House Drinker, what's gonna happen if Trump runs for president? Um... <laughs> I'll impeach him before he has a chance. What? Uh, let me explain something to you. Um, Democrats don't lose, okay? Um, peasants who bet against Democrats to lose, lose, <laughs> and they lose big. Because we found a way to win, even when we lose. <laughs> what? You heard what I said? We're ready for anything, okay? We're mobilized, fortified, and terrified. You're terrified? That's not what I said. Yes, you did. You said we're terrified. Trust me, I'm not terrified of anything. <laughs> and we're not losing our power. Well, yeah. how do you know that? Because I own a time machine, smartass. <laughs> I can see the future. You can see the future? Did I stutter? So how can you win even when you lose? Because we know how to fix things. <laughs> what? Our democracy is at risk. What does that even mean? I have no idea, but... The peasants eat it up. <laughs> what? Bottom line is this, right? We're gonna win. Well, there's a lot of people out there who don't agree with that. Who cares? <laughs> it's not about what the people want. It's what we want, right? It's the way it's always been, and it's the way it's always gonna be. We don't give up power. We just get more powerful. Well, you seem pretty confident about all this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're real confident about this one. Um, We got lots of voters. And what's your response to Donald Trump's recent statement asking you out to dinner? What? Is this true? Um, he asked me out to dinner? Um, <laughs> my answer is yes. A hundred times yes. Donald, it's me, Nancy. If you can hear me. How I've waited for this day. My heart, it yearns for you. My love for you is so moist. Come to me, Donald. Be my king, and we will rule this country. House Drinker! House Drinker! What, 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 what? What's going on with the gas prices and inflation? Um, they're both higher than Hunter Biden. <laughs> no more questions! Hello, peasants. <laughs> um, whew. You're, you're gonna have to excuse me. Um, I, I was a little late last night celebrating our vision victory. <laughs> um, for, for those of you who haven't heard, um, we won the CHIP Act. What's the CHIP Act? The, the CHIP Act is a $53 billion bribe. A bribe? Yeah, a bribe. You see, in order for the semiconductor manufacturing companies to stay in America, um, we had to give them some money. How can the government afford $53 billion? Oh, oh, we can't. <laughs> That's why we pay them in taxpayer money. You use taxpayer money? Hey, it's not my fault that these peasants gave the government full control of everything. <laughs> We've been very vocal about maintaining our power. We're just not interested in helping mankind. But it's not your money. It's the taxpayer's money. <laughs> Yeah, well, we do it all the time. You do? Not as much, though. <laughs> this was the most we've ever spent. I mean, I've spent lots more money than this on my grandkids and, you know, stuff around the house and vacations. <laughs> oh, um, speaking of vacations, I'm happy to let all of you taxpayers know that <laughs> I'm going to tie one on. What? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, what I meant to say is that I'll be vacationing in Taiwan. <laughs> house Drinker, do you really think that's a good idea? Of course it is. I gotta drop off a taxpayer check anyways. <laughs> Might as well cross the red line. They love me over there, and I just love Taiwan Vice. It's like moonshine. Drinker <laughs> of the house. Are you sure they want you there? Of course they do. They love me over there. Just listen to some of these heartfelt, welcoming invitations. Dear Nancy, don't come. <laughs> Seriously, that's an inside joke. <laughs> Here's another one. Hey, shit breath, stay in your own country. You're not welcome here. <laughs> they got a funny sense of humor over there. Here's another one. This is not a joke. Stay out of our country. <laughs> Dear house drinker, your dentures can come, but not you. <laughs> and this one right here is one of my favorites. Hey, crazy lady, we'll be watching for your plane. 
Aww. So sweet. So anyways, as you can see, I'm extremely excited about my vacation. House drinker! Yeah? Instead of vacationing in Taiwan, you should be focusing on America. America's doing great. Look around. Well, why don't you vacation at the southern border then? Why the hell would I do that? Hello? Nancy, it's Ray. Ray? Ray Epps? I told you to never call this number. Sorry. What do you want? I'm busy. Well, I'm having a hard time. Hard time with what? You were given specific instructions. What's the problem? It's this Trump hat and this Trump shirt. Yeah, and? Well, it's making me sick. Grow a pair and do your job. But this Make America Great Again flag is giving me a rash. I'm all itchy. Ray, we got a deal. I can't do this anymore. I, I don't even think these Trump supporters are listening to me. You do this, and I give you suck chips. <laughs> I know, but... But nothing. You do the job you were paid to do. I got enough problems on my own dealing with all these Capitol Police and blaming this all on Trump. I can't do it, Nancy. You gotta get somebody else. You can do it, okay? And you will do it. <laughs> you don't have a choice. You wanna spend the rest of your life in prison? You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. I can do anything I want. I make the laws. All right, all right, I'll do it. Don't worry, Ray. I've done this a thousand times. <laughs> You'll be a victim when this is all over. All right, but your stock tips better be good. Trust me. My stock tips are always good. <laughs> now get to work, all right? Now if you'll excuse me, I have to turn to the Capitol Police and see your guys. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna get back to work now. Hey, Ray. Yeah? Make America great again. <laughs> House drinker, has your husband ever made a stock purchase? Of course. I give him stock tips all the time. <laughs> so you give your husband advice on which stock to buy? No, that's preposterous. I would never do something like that. But you just said... Hey! Do you know who I am? Yeah. Shut your mouth when you're talking to me. But, but, but nothing. Americans are suffering right now. And all you care about is what stock my husband bought? Are you going to ask me about my husband's GUI next? Well, Silence! I, I, let me explain something to you, okay? <laughs> I've got a lot on my plate right now. I'm working on this 25th Amendment. i got to find a way to get Kamala out of the office. And I'm dealing with the January 6th hearings. Okay? My cup runs over. <laughs> The last thing I need right now is some smart ass asking me why I'm rich! But I was only It asking... doesn't matter what you think! Okay? Okay! The only thing that matters is what I think, right? If I say my husband is lucky in the stock market, then <laughs> you need to believe it. Would you be willing to take a lie detector test? A lie detector test? Yeah, a lie detector I heard test. I you the first time, you son of a bitch! So? So what? Would you take a lie detector test? I'm rich, okay? I don't have to. <laughs> I'm not a peasant. Rules don't apply to me. I'm above the law. Any one of you out there would be in prison for the judgings of illegal felonies I commit before my morning vodka and coffee. <laughs> don't you see? I'm a winner. I'll always be a winner. And you always come in last place. <laughs> if you peasants haven't figured that out yet, then you're really not paying attention. <laughs> Good night, peasants. No more questions. Hey, what's up, peasants? <laughs> I'm house drinker Nancy Pelosi. And this is my crib. Wipe your feet before you walk in my house. Rich people living up in here. <laughs> Show some respect. It's one of my living rooms right here. Got top of the line couches, top of the line coffee table, top of the line everything. That's how I roll. <laughs> this is one of my trophy rooms. I keep all my insider trading awards in here. This is one of my solid gold toilets. That's where I check my jumps. <laughs> Stocked up with top of the line silk toilet paper. I got a butler named Benson who wipes my ass and changes my cashmere diaper. <laughs> this is one of my closets with top of the line clothes from all over the world. <laughs> I make more money in 15 seconds than you peasants make in 15 years. Thanks, insider trading. <laughs> this is one of my bedrooms. Top of the line bed, top of the line mattress, top of the line sheets. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> it's getting pretty moist in here. When Paul's not passed out, I do a little dance for him. Yeah, Paul likes it when I get dirty. <laughs> this is one of my $20,000 refrigerators right here. This is where I keep all my top of the line goodies. Ta-da! Yeah, that's about 5,000 bucks in ice cream right there. <laughs> Jealous? Right over here is where I keep my life support. Got enough vodka in here to flood Earth. And smuckers. Because <laughs> I like saying smuckers. Right over here is one of my top-of-the-line vehicles. Ain't no electric cars up in here. <laughs> Rich people live here. See this wheel? This wheel's worth more than your life. See this interior? <laughs> All custom top-of-the-line. This leather still got a pulse. Me! <laughs> I got a poor shoe, but uh... <laughs> It's in the shop right now getting fixed. It's one of my pools right here. Shop of the line salt water. Shop of the line furniture. Shop of the line everything. <laughs> this is what royalty looks like. You wish you were rich like me. <laughs> now get off my property before I call the cops. Good night, peasants. <laughs> Insider trading. Paul and Nancy show.
So, Nancy. Yeah, Paul? You got any of those stock tips? Is that all I'm good for, Paul? Huh? Am I just your little stock tip? No. You're my wife, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. When's the last time you took me out to dinner, Paul? Huh? Better yet, when's the last time you took me anywhere? I'm sorry. I've, I've just been busy. Yeah, you've been real busy, all right. Spending my stock tip money on hookers and alcohol. I'm just going through a hard time right now. Yeah, you look like you were going through a real hard time when I caught you at the massage parlor at 11 o'clock at night. I was getting my shoulder massaged. That's a funny place to put a shoulder, don't you think? I'm so sorry, Nancy. You're always sorry, Paul. But I mean it this time. You do? I do. Oh, Paul, I can't stay mad at you. So, what about that stock tip? I'll give you my tip after you give me your tip. <laughs> Can I do it after you get back from Taiwan? But what if I don't make it back, Paul? That's a risk I'm willing to take. Oh, Paul, you're so romantic. Take me, Paul. Take me right now. And you're gonna give me the stock tip? Yes. Now take me! Ugh. All right. Nancy! Nancy! What the hell is going on? Oh, look who decided to finally wake up. <laughs> Where am I? You're at the next stop, Nancy. We're at the bar? No, <laughs> we're not at the bar. <laughs> How long have I been passed out? Uh, about 37 years. Wow. So this is Taiwan, huh? Not exactly. Well, it's beautiful. Yeah, you're gonna love it here. They got any good bars down there? <laughs> Not where you're going. What? All right, Nancy. Time to say goodbye. Where am I going? Uranus. Uranus? No, Uranus. Is there alcohol in Uranus? Not in mine, but probably in yours. Oh, good. <laughs> so, um, when do I get picked up? You don't, Nancy. I'm not getting picked up? Nope. So I'm just supposed to stay here floating around in Uranus? Yep, you're gonna be floating around in Uranus. Help! Can anybody hear me? Happy trails, Nancy! Mission Control! Help! Pelosi has Uranus. successfully landed Help! on Uranus. I repeat, Pelosi has landed on Uranus. One small step to freedom. One giant leap for America. God bless us, everyone. Hello? Can anybody hear me? Oh, gosh. Hope this suit is waterproof. <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. Got me feeling like Buzz Lightyear up here. <laughs> Shoo infinity. LBI! Hello, Yagamans. <laughs> that just means uh, presence in Chinese. <laughs> Sit up all night learning that, so... If I seem like I'm not my child, that's high. <laughs> um... Something's wrong with my that is... Say crunchy, even in milk. <laughs> and I, I see you, we can all agree that that's true. You know, it's like, President Tony the Tiger, his 20th forces, President Ben Simmons, his once told me, <laughs> say <"Sir> great. <laughs> and I'll never forget that, you know, when you got your skittles and you can taste the rainbow, so. so it's, 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 it's like, um, <laughs> it's like, you know, you know, it's like, it's like, it's, 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 it's like every rose. That's his story. You know, it's just like, just like every, every time, it's just every time, Cowboy sings a sad, sad song. You know, it's like, um, and, uh, you know, it's like Mama always said, life was like a box of chocolate, so, you know, it's true. You know, it's like, it's like a garden, it's like a garden. Take it, take it. It's like, it's like a man locked down my door today, asking for donations for the local swimming pool. You know, it's like, so I, so I give him a glass of water. <laughs> and I says, and I'm writing a book, you know, on reverse psychology. Please don't buy it. <laughs> um, but it's, 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 um, I, I asked America what they wanted, and they told me that nothing would make them happier than freedom. So I gave them nothing. <laughs> and it's, 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 look, 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 all right? Um, uh, let me see, um, <laughs> I I I I I I I came to Taiwan to drink, to get drunk, and and, and to drink. <laughs> and, um, uh, I, 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 I've already done two of those things. <laughs> so um, um, I I I I I I think I I I, I need to go. <laughs> Good night, young man. You know when I was a little girl, um, I tried to take a hold of China. My parents said no. They said it's not possible, all right? They forbid me to dig and told me to stop wasting my time. Oh, how I wanted to dig. I became obsessed with Shyla. I would just sit around thinking about Shyla and all this wonder. Sometimes I would pretend that I actually dug the hole. Hello? 
China, my parents prohibiting me to zig only made me want to zig more. So I dug in secret. But I was too small. I didn't have any money. And I had no idea what vodka was. <laughs> my parents got wise to the whole zigging operation and soon I lost interest. But I never gave up on my love and passion to become a part of China. Somehow. Some way. As I got older, my parents went on to tell me that plucking my eyebrows would make my hair come back thicker and longer. And if I kept drinking all day, I'd never get a hangover. <laughs> but I didn't listen to them. I was too busy thinking about digging to China. Now that I'm rich and powerful, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I have finally decided to fulfill my childhood dream of digging a hole to China. Sure, it's not going to be easy. But with the right amount of vodka and my high level of income, anything's possible. Join me on my journey as I dig a hole to China. Until next time, good night, peasants! <laughs> FBI! Don't anybody move! This is a raid! <laughs> Nancy, there ain't nobody here! Ah, damn well, it! What do we do now? We need to plant some evidence so we can take Trump down once and for all! Yeah! Well, I'm gonna go plant some evidence in Donald's underwear drawer. <laughs> And while you're doing that, I'll go plant some evidence in Malena's underwear drawer. <laughs> and while you guys are doing that, I'm gonna go check on the guy cracking the safe. Who'd you get to crack the safe? A guy that works for crack? Oh, you got Hunter? Yep. Good choice. <laughs> All right, everybody. Operation Takedown Trump starts now. <laughs> hey, I cracked your safe. Can I get paid now? Going on vacation with my dad. What the hell is this? He's got evidence on every corrupt politician in the country. Hey, there's evidence on Jeffrey Epstein in here. I remember that. He's got that. evidence on everyone. <laughs> we can't use this. Nope. We gotta burn it all. Yeah. Right to the ground. I'll go get my vodka. And then we plant evidence on Trump. Yeah. All right, everybody. Let's get to work. Yeah. House Drinker, what's your reaction to Trump's house being raided? Um, uh, sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm out of breath here. I, um, I was jogging on the way here because while I was in Taiwan, I was, um, Eating a lot of pot stickers. <laughs> but to answer your question, um, I had no idea, wink wink, um, that this was going on. <laughs> but I can tell you that justice has been served. And America and Trump have finally realized that no one is above the law. <laughs> no one's above the law? Did I stutter? I said no one! Well, what about Hunter Biden, Hillary Clinton, and your husband? Well, <laughs> there's a few people who are. Well, who are they? Well, you got me and my husband, Paul, of course. Um, <laughs> and then there's uh, Joe Biden, Hunter, Adam Schiff, Eric Swalwell, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Just to name a few. Um, but everybody else, you all need to understand that no one is above the law. Drinker of the house, how was your trip to Taiwan? Oh, China? <laughs> it was great. They're so peaceful and free over there. Why did you bring your son, Paul Jr.? Because uh, Paul Sr. was arrested for a DUI. <laughs> did your son take care of any business while you were there? Business? Like, did he take a poop? No, did he like to... Of course he took a poop. It's natural. Me and my son took several poops while we were there. And we went through a lot of paper. <laughs> so your son wasn't doing any lithium deals while you were visiting? Next question. House drinker, are you at all concerned about the millions of Democrats now voting Republican? Nope. Not worried at all. Why aren't you worried? Let's just say that insider trading isn't the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> How can you be so confident? I have a crystal ball. <laughs> good night, peasants! So, house drinker. Who said that? How was your trip to Taiwan? Um, <laughs> let, let me, let me, let me tell you something, okay? Um, okay. I'm blessed, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm bought and paid for. You say bought and paid China for? China is great. I mean, it's... <laughs> what? such a free and wonderful place. I said, so, so free. <laughs> so free. This is amazing. So it's just... People, I just, I just, I don't know. <laughs> so I don't even know what to say. Anyone's, I don't know. I don't know why anyone's saying anything sad about China. <laughs> are, uh, so, are, are you talking about China or Taiwan? What? What, what, what was your question? You said China was a free society. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh my gosh, this sock is strong. Um, I mean, so, I just got some money and I got some money. <laughs> my son Paul was with me. He says, oh, shh, shh, don't, shh, don't, don't say but yeah, it's cool. <laughs> um, don't, 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 don't say anything about Paul. Cut, 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 cut that out. Cut, cut what out? Uh, uh, the, the, the part about my son Paul coming with me. He was, um, he, he, he was doing business down there. He, he wasn't supposed to do it. <laughs> so just, just cut, uh, cut, cut that part out. <laughs> this is live. I, I can't cut anything cut, out. Um, cut, cut what out? Your son going to Taiwan with you. I can't cut that what, out. What are you talking about? I, I, I never said 
anything about that. <laughs> what? Don't, don't, uh, 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 don't put uh, words in my mouth. <laughs> huh? You know, this old trip was just a distraction from my husband, Tom, uh, Sam, Tom, uh, Summers, Tom, Tom, is it Tom? <laughs> Rhymes with Tom, uh, Paul, uh, Paul. <laughs> that's right, um, it's a uh, Paul, um, my husband's Paul's a drinking. <laughs> the <Did> you ask? <laughs> Pull over! <laughs> it's, uh, it's a much higher issue, I just said. Probably Sam Footy, so it's just, it's just a college from, you know, it's just with Elizabeth Ratchet and the Queen of Sugar Fenton. <laughs> so, I just, you know, I was, I, I, um, hang on for a second here. <laughs> I think I might have just had a sc Excuse me, house drinker? Yeah. What are your thoughts on the recent activity? H that hang on, I, I, I gotta get something to drink. <laughs> Ooh, that is some good hand sanitizer. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's uh, what you wanted. <laughs> House drinker, are you running again? Of course I'm running again. You guys are supposed to clap now. <laughs> Louder! You're not doing this right. Ask me this question again. I swear, you peasants out there, you better clap or I'll have the FBI raid all your houses. Um, House drinker? Yes? Um, are you, are you running again? What's with this guy? <laughs> of course I'm running again. <laughs> Clap, you sons of bitches! <laughs> let, let, let me explain something to you, peasants. <laughs> this is, um, this is my house, okay? This is my money, this is my power. <laughs> and ain't nobody gonna take it away from me, all right? You hear me? Yeah. Do you hear me? Yes, house drinker! That's what I thought. Now clap, you sons of bitches! Marshall's Vineyard Police Department. How can I help you? <laughs> uh, hey, police. This is President Obama. Hey, President Obama. What seems to be the problem? Well, uh, my lawn isn't cut, my weeds aren't pulled, and there's leaves everywhere. I'm so sorry for your inconvenience, sir. What can I do to help? Uh, well, <laughs> can you tell me why there's a group of people in front of my house who aren't holding leaf blowers or pushing a lawnmower? What? Uh, there's a group of people in front of my house who aren't using a leaf blower. There's a group of people outside of your house that aren't using a leaf blower? Yep. In Martha's Vineyard? Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're outside of Oprah's, uh, Bill Clinton, and uh, Spike Lee's house, too. And to make matters worse, I don't see a shovel, a weed whacker, or a work truck anywhere. Well, we can't have this kind of activity in this community. Rich and successful people live here. Yeah, me and Michelle have never experienced anything like this in our life. We're terrified. We don't feel safe. We're prisoners in our own home. You poor thing. How many square feet you got? Uh, our house is uh, only 7,000 square feet. Only 7,000? Yep. Wow. You must be living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, our life is pretty hard. We're barely scraping by. Nobody knows our struggle. Well, President Obama, I can assure you that I'll take care of this little problem <laughs> in your front yard right now. You know, I know this is a sanctuary city and all, but come on, man. <laughs> These guys aren't even holding the rake. Hello, peasants. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, um... But I've been extremely busy saving lives, saving the planet, and most importantly, I've been saving the children. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta get a drink. <laughs> Yuck! What the hell is this? It's water! It's supposed to be vodka! I'm sorry, house drinker! You're fired! What? Next question. <laughs> house drinker, what's it like to save lives? Well, it's pretty easy with $350 billion. Did you say $350 billion? Yeah. Did I stutter? <laughs> Seems like an awful lot of money. Yeah, it's government funding. <laughs> you mean it's the taxpayers' money? Whatever. It's mine now. <laughs> hey, house drinker, how's Joe Biden doing? Oh, he's doing a great job. <laughs> he created like a uh, like a billion jobs. Sure, Sandra. Uh, he ended the pandemic. He stopped the war in Afghanistan. He's helping Ukraine with America's money. And um, he's bringing the world together. <laughs> he is. Yeah, he is. Not like Trump. Trump wants to build a wall and separate people, but not Joe. No, Joe wants to give everyone from every country the right to vote. <laughs> hey, I was drinker. I was London. It was good. Um, only took me uh ten SUVs, sixteen security guards, and two private jets with the AC set to sixty nine. There and back, <laughs> which is good because um, I usually use twelve SUVs and six jets, but I'm doing my part to save the planet. <laughs> hey, when's your husband going to jail? What was that? I, I said, when's your husband I heard what you said, smartass. And it's none of your business, all right? Next question! You, over there, what do you got? So how do you save the planet? Well, it's simple, actually. Um, <laughs> We raise taxes, Um, you give us more money, we take that money and put it in our pockets. 
That's how you save a planet. House Streaker, Chuck Schumer says you're in trouble. Are you worried? Chuck Schumer? Yeah. <laughs> you mean highly flashes, Chuck Schumer? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I've been in politics a long time. <laughs> Trust me, everybody's gonna vote for me. Good night, peasants. <laughs> Look, everybody, it's the house drinker, Nancy Pelosi. Hello, peasants. <laughs> I seem to have crapped my pants. <laughs> Damn it, why did I wear all white? Can you see this chain? Hey, what's everybody booing for? Is Trump here? <laughs> Come on, guys, it's me, Nancy. You want cleaner air? You want safe drinking water? <laughs> All I need is $350 billion. Come on, you peasants. Reach into your pockets. Give me your money. What, what, what are they saying? I, I, I can't understand them. I think they're saying Nancy's my hero. They are. They are saying Nancy's my hero. Yep, they are. They love me. They really love me. They really do. <laughs> and they're all going to vote for me. Ew, it smells like cavities and dirty diaper sweat. I'm officially moist. Hey, Nancy, where's the alcohol at? Don't embarrass me, Paul! But I haven't had a drink in like four minutes. Paul, can't you see I'm busy talking to the drummer from Motley Crue? But I'm losing my buzz, Nancy! Paul, what? <laughs> so much bigger than Paul's. Huh? It's okay. Paul likes to wash. Ew! Hey, if you want a sock sip, gotta show me your sip. <laughs> so, so, the, the, the cop says, um... Sure, sure, have you been drinking? And, and, and then, uh, what'd you tell him, Paul? I told him I said I'm married to Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> and, and, and then I get a call, uh, 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 and I said, hey, um, you, you let my husband go, or you're all fired. <laughs> and, 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 then, and, then, and, then, and then what happened, Paul? They let me go. They let him go. <laughs> when I say give me, you say money, give me! Good night, peasant! Come on, guys. We need to think of something. I got nothing. Yeah, me neither. I'm drawing a blank. Hey, Jackie. Jackie, you out there? Shut up, Joe. <laughs> Come on, guys. We can't give up. We need to keep trying. But everything we've tried has failed. It's like the more we try, the more powerful we get. Yeah, Nancy, maybe it's time we just give up. I mean, we did try. Yeah, we gave it our best shot. That's not good enough, okay? We can do better. Trump should be in prison. <laughs> well, I can make up a new lie. Yeah, and I could start a new smear campaign. And I can play both sides and confuse the hell out of everybody. That's perfect. This isn't over, guys, all right? We're going to send Trump to prison. Mark my words. We'll get him. Well, <laughs> what if I tweeted that I just received word from an anonymous whistleblower that Trump has ties to America? That's a great idea. Thank you. And while you're doing that, I'll tweet that Trump is trying to sell launch codes. And I'll play both sides. This is perfect. Oh, I just had a great idea. <laughs> Let's hear it. Jackie! What if I said that Donald Trump was arrested for driving under the influence? <laughs> That's pretty good. That's not bad. And then we can say that he has ties to America, and he's trying to sell life codes to Russia. That's a great <laughs> idea, Nancy. Thanks, Jerry. And then we can say that he almost hit someone when he was driving drunk and making deals with America while trying to sell lunch codes to Russia. That's brilliant. I can produce 20 imaginary anonymous victims in five minutes. I can tweet about it while I'm holding the press conference. I'll call my friends in North Korea and let them know what's going on. And I'll play <laughs> both sides and confuse the hell out of everybody. Hey, somebody just pooped in my pants. This is going to work, guys. It has to. We're going to impeach him once and for all for driving under the influence and having ties with America while trying to sell lunch shows to Russia. You think it's going to work, Nancy? It has to work, Sherry. Oh, my tweet is already trending on Twitter. Fox News and CNN just showed live footage of Trump driving under the influence while having ties with America and trying it's to sell lunch shows to Russia. 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 We did it again! Yeah. It's so long! They can't find Joe. <laughs> Hey, should I sit down or should I be on my knees? Uh, whatever's more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies, it's time. We're gonna uh, make history tonight. All right, we found him. Let's do it. Wait, what? Where am I? What's going on? Oh, is that Eric? Oh, man, I hope he don't fart on me. Oh, man, this is weird. <laughs> hey, hey, I know you. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Uh, my, my, my fellow, uh... Oh, damn it, what comes after my fellow, uh, my it's fellow... American my fellow, Joe. Uh, come on, Joe, uh, Joe. my fellow, uh... Oh, oh, my fellow potatoes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Can someone please turn on the teleprompter? Hey, hey, uh, 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 this, this is pre-recorded, right? Yes, it's pre-recorded, but you still need to uh, read the lines, right, Joe. Uh, well, uh, well, uh, while we let the, uh, the teleprompter warm up, uh, I, I, I'd like to introduce President Pamela Carrots. <laughs> Joe, my name is Kamala. Uh, uh, are you saying Pamela? <laughs> no, I'm saying Kamala. I, I, is that, is, is that with a P or a Q? It's with a K! Oh, so the P and the Q are silent! Oh my gosh! Can someone get the teleprompter working? And, uh, 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 introducing uh, the, 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 the house drinker, 
Clancy Pingrosi. My name is not Clancy Pingrosi. Yeah, I right? certainly love these Pamela Carrots inspired face masks. <laughs> this mask is like a pearl necklace of masks. <laughs> <laughs> I needed a mask where I could open my mouth. Opening your mouth <laughs> is very important. Oh, you got it. Jay Willikers, we're so lucky to have a real president. Go, wake uh, up. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 everybody, uh, remember to wear your mask always. That's right. I got two vaccinations and um, I still wear two masks. Um, you can never be too safe. Hey, never, never. never. used to wear two raincoats. Oh, my ah. gosh. <laughs> well, e even if you're the last person on Earth, you need to still wear a mask. That's true, you know, because um, even though you're the last person on Earth, Wait, what? you can still breathe your own air. Yeah, you don't want to be breathing what are we talking about? <laughs> Finally, a real president. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, man, excuse me. Uh, good thing I got my mask on. Hey, hey, uh, is, is that teleprompter thing working yet? <laughs> man, it feels so good to have a real president. Wait, Standing in front of me. I'm over here, man. I, I hope I don't have to answer any questions today. Go. Oh, boy, I tell you, I get in a load of trouble when, I answer, uh, when I answer questions. Can you believe it? I mean, e even the president gets in trouble. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, so, so, sometimes, I, <laughs> sometimes I wonder who, who's really in uh, charge. Uh, uh, just look at him. A real president. <laughs> He's so hey, composed what? and confident. I mean, Go. he really has changed America. <laughs> oh, my leg fell asleep. These damn knee pads are too well, tight. It's a good thing that the fact checkers went out of business. <laughs> yeah, we don't need fact checkers. Everything we say is true. Everything we say is true. Yeah, me, me, me neither. I, uh, uh, in 120 years, I've never told a lie. Me when, when, when I say something to uh, 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 oh, oh, where the hell are we again? We're in America, Joe. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. when, when, when I say something to, to uh, uh, wherever the hell we are, it, it's always the truth. Always the truth. It's exactly the truth, yeah. you know? it's, it's physically impossible for me to tell a lie. It's like I tried once in the mirror, and I just couldn't do it. I, I just can't tell a lie. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I, I've never. Told a lie. That's right. That's the truth. You're doing it, Joe! The only person what? that ever needed a fact checker, fact checker? was Mr. Poopy Pants, Donald Trump. <laughs> Trump needed 10 fact checkers every time he talked. <laughs> hey, is it break time yet? I need a snack and a nap. I mean, my knees are about to give out. My knees never give out. Wait, what? Kamala, your knees to be in the Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> hey, I need to be in the Guinness Book of World Records for my 80 million fans. Yeah, your fans, they love you so much. Yeah, wait, I mean, what? we have to disable the comments on right. all your videos, on the internet, we shut down. I get fan mail every day. Oh, yeah. It's so refreshing to what? have a real president standing <laughs> right in front yeah, of me. It's like, hey, I don't even I? have to rip anything up today. <laughs> Thank you, Joe Biden, hey, for being the best president in the universe. Hey, 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 uh, uh, <laughs> is that teleprompter working yet? <laughs> oh, Joe. What? <laughs> Joe, Joe, say, I like moist cake with peanut butter. <laughs> uh, I like moist cake with peanut butter. Sure, sure. Say, sloppy, floppy, whippy, whappy. Uh, come on. Say, sloppy, floppy, whippy, uh, Sloppy, floppy, whippy, whappy. Go, say, sure is doing flashy, swishy, flirt wobbles. Uh, sorry, doing flashy, swishy, flirt wobbles. Go, say, moist. <laughs> moist. Go, say, purple is the same color as the number three. Uh, per purple is the uh, sa same color as the number three. All right, Joe. Say, I'm President Teleprompter. You want fries with that? <laughs> uh, I I I'm President Teleprompter. Uh, you want fries with that? Joe, say, ew, it smells like a fish farted in here. <laughs> yeah, it smells like a fish farted in here. Joe, <laughs> Joe, say, my fellow potatoes, too light, the gum tastes weird. <laughs> uh, my fellow potatoes, too light, the gum tastes weird. So, reach into your pocket and say, I want to read my husband Jill's grocery list. <laughs> Hang on, I, I want to read my husband Jill's grocery list. Now, look at the list and say, 9% milk, squirrel food, dehydrated water, <laughs> and Japan. <laughs> uh, 9% milk, squirrel food, dehydrated water, and depends. <laughs> Joe, stare at the camera and don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, Joe, so say, I ship mice elf. <laughs> uh, I ship mice elf. Joe, so say, I sofa king we charge this. <laughs> I sofa king we charge this. Joe, so say, toy boat three times fast. <laughs> toy boat three times fast. No, Joe, so say, toy boat three times fast. Toy boat three times fast. Joe, so say, I want a mess. <laughs> uh, I want a m So, so, say, uh, kids, respect your parents, especially your mom and dad. 
Uh, uh, kids, uh, 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 respect your parents, uh, especially your mom and dad. So, say, I have two cats, and both of them are dogs. <laughs> uh, I have two cats, and uh, 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 both of them are dogs. All right, so, that's Jackie if she's here. Jackie, are you here? <laughs> so, say, where's Jackie? Uh, 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 where's Jack? <laughs> yeah, I just mumbled something. So much news in the milkman just got him around in the back. Ah, the <laughs> son of a bitch actually shit! 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> yeah, I need help. What seems to be the problem? I I've been kidnapped. Okay, sir. I'm gonna need you to stay calm. Alright, alright, I'm calm. <laughs> oh, damn it! I just pooped my pants! So embarrassed. It's okay. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> oh, good. Sure, can you describe your kidnappers? Yeah, one of them's a lady with a, 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 a dirty blonde hair. What's she wearing? Uh, 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 she's wearing like a tablecloth or some curtains. What does she look like? Uh, uh, she, uh, she, she, she looks like Alice Cooper. Is there more than one kidnapper? Oh, yeah, there's lots of them. Bunch of weirdos. They kidnap me every day. Where do they take you? Well, they usually take me to a stage and make me read stuff off a teleprompter. Then they make me sniff kids. Interesting. Do they make you do anything else? Yeah, they bring me to a room and make me sign papers and answer pre-approved questions. Have they told you why they're doing this? No, they just say do it or your son's going to prison. That's awful. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But the worst part is they hardly ever take me out to get ice cream. Ice cream? Yeah, I hardly ever get ice cream. Joe, is that you? Yeah, I'm Joe. How'd you know my name? Joe, you get back in your cage this instant. How did you get out? Oh, come on, man. Nancy? Did you hear that? Nancy? Nancy, where are you? Is somebody here? Hello? I'm calling the police now! Put your phone down! Oh, how, how'd you get in here? How, how'd you get past my armed guards and my million dollar security system? Silence! This is MAGA country! Are, are you a Trump supporter? D don't hurt me! I, I'll, I'll give you stock tips! This is MAGA country! Vote for Trump! Please don't hurt me. Take whatever you want. Take my money, take my wife, but please, don't hurt me. Paul, are you serious? Nancy, is that you? Yes, me. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's Friday, isn't it? Yeah, Paul, it's Friday. I'm sorry, Nancy. I totally forgot the home invasion thing. Take my wife? Seriously? I'm sorry, I'm still drunk. I don't even know what's going on right now. We've been planning this home invasion for months, Paul. You couldn't stay sober for one night? Midterms are less than two weeks away! Sorry, Nancy. It's okay. <laughs> Let's just get this over with. Wait, get what over with? Oh, I'm just gonna beat the hell out of you while I scream mega country. <laughs> You're gonna do what? Hand me that golf club, Paul. <laughs> are you okay, sir? Yeah, I'm alright. Can you tell me what happened? <clears throat> um, uh, a, a Trump supporter uh, 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 broke into my house and beat me up. Could you identify him? <clears throat> uh, he had a ski mask on and uh, a red MAGA hat. Did he say anything to you? <clears throat> yeah, he he said this is MAGA country. Vote for Trump. It worked! <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Uh, Paul, you know, you know I still have to go to jail? Where am I? You're at the Saxon Hospital. What, what happened? Uh, you got hammered last night. <laughs> what? Th did I get another DUI? No, you literally got hammered. Huh? Somebody broke into our house last night and hammered you. <laughs> but how? How do you get past our armed guards and security system? I don't know. <laughs> Nancy! What? Did you let him in like you let them in on January 6th? What? I, I was in Washington! Nancy! <laughs> Alright, I might have just selected the security system and some... I might have uh, given the armed guards a night off and some... I might have left the front door open. Nancy! <laughs> Hey, but look at you, you're doing great! You're, you're healing up just fine, and so many people are gonna feel sorry for you and us. <laughs> Did you do this because of the midterms? Paul, I I'm afraid you would even suggest that. Well, look who's awake! Oh, hey, doctor! <laughs> How's our hero doing? Wait a minute, that guy's a doctor? No, but he plays one on TV. <laughs> Your husband survived! He can go home now! Thanks, Dr. Smollett. I'll never forgive you for this, Nancy. Settle down, Paul. I mean, look at the bright side. At least you survived. <laughs> but what if I didn't survive, Nancy? Well, if you didn't survive, um... Nancy? Just imagine all those sympathy votes if you didn't make it. Nancy? <laughs> Sorry, Paul. 
You're just collateral damage. <laughs> Farewell. So, um, how, how you doing, Paul? <laughs> Feeling any better? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm just a little hot. Well, you should eat in your underwear. It's a good idea. Do you like your dinner? Not really. Well, can I make you something else? Well, I could go for a huge hot dog. Yeah? Yeah. The bigger the better. <laughs> I, I I didn't even know you liked hot dogs. Mm, I love hot dogs. Always have. <laughs> Funny, I've never seen you eat a hot dog. Yeah, well, I only eat hot dogs when you're out of town. <laughs> so, um, you want a big, juicy hot dog then? Oh, yeah, that's that sounds good. <laughs> what about a nice, big, hot corn dog? Oh, even better. Oh, my gosh. Maybe a long, spicy sausage or a fat carrot. <laughs> oh, boy, my mouth is watering. And you can wash it all down with some sick, creamy eggnog. Oh, I love eggnog. You like it sick, don't you, Paul? Oh, yeah. The thicker, the better. Yeah, nice oh. and moist. You gotta swallow all of it, Jojo. You don't wanna waste a drop. Oh, I won't. I I won't. What about a cinnamon hot eggplant? Oh, eggplants are my favorite! Yeah, I bet you could fit a whole eggplant in your mouth, can't you? Oh, I'm so hungry right now, I probably could. You like them sick, salty pickles? Oh, yeah! <laughs> I could probably eat a whole jar right yeah, now! Yeah, I bet you could. How about some sweet, hot, buttery corn on the cob? Oh, my gosh, I love corn on the cob! Because I just bought some corn that's as big as a hammer! Oh, I got a buddy who loves corn! Hello, peasants. Um... As many of you know, um, an illegal immigrant and racist Trump supporter was able to get past my arm guards and my alarm system. How did he do that? We, we have no idea. But he was able to break into my seven-bedroom, 29,500-square-feet mansion undetected. <laughs> and my husband was hammered. He was drunk? No, I mean, he, he was literally hammered. House drinker, how do you feel about... Stop! Hammer time. <laughs> what? what? Sorry, that, that, that song has like been stuck in my head. Um, what, what was your question? How do you know he was a Trump supporter? I, isn't it obvious? Um, he, he tried to break my kneecaps. I mean, I, I, I should have been the next Nancy Kerrigan. <laughs> you know, Democrats don't do things like this. You know, Democrats are peaceful. House drinker, how did the attacker get inside your home? That's not important. What's important is that we blame Trump for this. Miss Drinker, where is the security footage? Does it matter? I mean, are, are you some kind of pervert? Why, why do you need to see the security footage? Um, to see what happens? What happens is my husband is in hospital because of a racist Trump supporting illegal immigrant. And it's all Trump's fault! How is it Trump's fault? Because I said it is! Well, why were they both in their underwear? I, is it a crime to be in your underwear? <laughs> are, are we not allowed to wear underwear in our own homes? Well, don't you think it's a little weird that both of them were in their underwear? What's weird about it? I mean, w w would you rather they were naked? You pervert! No, I'm, I'm just saying it's weird. What's weird is, this is Trump's fault. And he hasn't even been arrested yet. But how is it Trump's fault? Because I said it is. That's why. House drinker, the 911 call said the attacker was a friend of your husband. Yeah. Well? Well, what? Well, were they friends or not? Well, I mean, they, they, they were in their underwear together. I mean, <laughs> they bought it. I mean, haven't you seen Wild Hogs? Haven't you seen Brokeback Mountain? House drinker. Yeah. Your husband's DUI. Yeah. Was the attacker the mystery passenger? Oh, oh, here comes a hammer. Oh, oh, here comes a hammer. <laughs> it's hammer time. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, what, you never, you never heard of MC Hammer? <laughs> well, yeah, I've heard of MC Hammer. Hey, here, here's a question for you, all right? Why, why isn't anyone asking about Trump's taxes? House drinker, this just seems all too coincidental. Oh, yeah? Uh, uh, how, how so? Well, midterms are just days away. How dare you! You really think I would be able to do something like this for sympathy votes? <laughs> well, I mean, it is, you know. I would never do something like this. And quite frankly, I'm extremely afraid that you would even assume that I was capable of constructing such a thing. It just seems an awful lot like January Today 6th. we're joined with no House more drinker, Nancy Pelosi. Hey, thanks for having me on the show, Fred. <laughs> it's, uh, George. Uh, I thought you say s'mores. No, it's George. Are you saying force? No, I'm saying George. Well, excuse me. <laughs> Source. So, House Drinker. It's actually pronounced House Drinker. That's what I said. That's what I said. <laughs> so, when is Paul going to serve his sentence? Uh, what? What did you I, say? I said when... I heard what you said, okay? But I think my husband's been through enough, don't you? So, he's not going to serve his time? For, for what? Be, being the victim of a stage hammer attack? <laughs> he's lucky to be alive. No, for, for the DUI he was arrested for. That's in the past. It doesn't even matter anymore. It doesn't? No, it doesn't matter. House drinker, are you... Oh, it's a as fuck right now. I I'm sorry, what was that? What? I are you planning on retiring soon? Are you insane? Why, why would I retire? Well, because you're 82. 82 is a new 40. Plus, 
American needs me. Well, don't you think it's time to let someone a little younger and a little less corrupt take over? What? So they can get all the sock chips and get rich and powerful and have control of all the peasants? <laughs> well, I was actually thinking more in lines of helping Americans. <laughs> Americans don't need help. Other countries need help. I think Americans need help, too. I think I know what Americans need, okay? <laughs> I've been launching my money for a long time. But Americans are hungry. They need money. They're hungry. They need money. <laughs> <laughs> Most of these peasants don't even have jobs. What do they need money for? Um, to live? To eat? To live? To eat? Yeah? L l listen to me, okay? All right. I, I need money to live and eat. And, 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 and the only people that... You need money are, are successful people. Successful Important people? Important people, you know, rich people who, who have mansions and cars and expensive ice cream. Well, what about those that are less fortunate than you? <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> they get what I give them. Okay, um, house drinker. Yeah? Are you afraid the Republicans are going to vote you out? Nope, not at all. How come? Because I see the future. <laughs> you do? Yeah, I got a crystal ball. How do you see the future? You want answers? Well, yeah, I'm a journalist. You want answers? I want the truth. You say the truth. Yeah, I can. So we live in a country where politicians are rich and powerful. Who's going to do our jobs, huh? Uh, you? I'd like to be rich and powerful. Shut up. Okay. You have the luxury of not being rich and powerful like me. I do? Yeah. You don't want the truth because I won't give you the truth. Well, how come you won't give me the truth? Because, um... You want me on that wall. I do? You need me on that wall. What? Um, we, we use words like sitting, society, and money. Okay. <laughs> we use these words as the backbone of life spent trying to control something. You use them as a punchline. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. I have used the time or the inebriation to explain myself to a man who rises and sleeps in the blanket of fear and poverty that I provide. <laughs> so you don't plan on going anywhere? Nope. Get used to this face, America. <laughs> just like Peter, just like Feinstein. I mean, this So, life. what happens when you. you when know. I go? <laughs> It'll be a regular weekend in Nancy's. I'll be pulling strings from heaven. Heaven? Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? <laughs> yeah, can I get a Wab Burger and some French fries? Uh, I'm sorry, did you <laughs> say you wanted a Wab Burger and some French fries? Yeah, <laughs> and a Diet Coke. Pull up to the <laughs> second window, please. <laughs> Ah, I should have known it was you. How you doing, Squirt Bottle? <laughs> you work at McDonald's now? No, I don't work at McDonald's. Then what are you doing here? I'm just here, um, volunteering. <laughs> <laughs> volunteering? You? Yeah. You know, giving back to the community. <laughs> How? By spitting on everybody and using McDonald's to launder your inside and trade them money? For your information, I'm helping to feel America. Well, that's a first. And just what the hell is that supposed to mean? Exactly what I said. For your information, I'm helping people. <laughs> Something you know nothing about. <laughs> What's so funny? Everything you just said. Get out of here, Trump. <laughs> because of you, I'm stuck here feeding peasants. Hey, it's not my fault you were going to get voted out. Oh, wait. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that's a lie. If it's a lie, then what are you doing here? Well, because uh, I just... Felt it after 35 years of political corruption. <laughs> I needed to spend more time with my family. That's why I decided not to run. Yeah, because nobody was going to vote for you. <laughs> Whatever, Trump. Hi, my name is, um, Joe. Joe, and I identify as the president. My name is Nancy, and I identify as someone who cares about you. Today we're going to be talking about Joe Nouns. What are Joe Nouns? Joe Nouns are, um, uh... Wait, what, what were we talking about? Show nouns are words that let people know that Joe Biden is doing a great job. <laughs> yeah, for example, I mean, I instead of saying, Wow, those gas prices are horrible. Use your Joe nouns. Say, Wow, Joe Biden is awesome. And that just sounds better. And it puts people in a great mood. <laughs> yeah, when people say gas prices are horrible, that really hurts my feelings. And it's offensive. And my name is Joe. Using Joe nouns is simple. Anybody can use them. For example... Instead of saying, I can't believe how high inflation is, use your Joe nouns and say, I can't believe how great Joe Biden is. <laughs> and that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Feeling warm and fuzzy is what Joe nouns are all about. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> Just like when you hear a crowd scream, fuck Joe Biden or let's go Brandon, use your Joe nouns and scream back, Joe Biden is the greatest president that ever lived. Joe nouns are easy to use and they can turn a bad situation into a wonderful experience. 
For example, if you hear the news say that Joe Biden's approval rating is low, use your show now and say, <laughs> that's a <Yeah>. lie. <laughs> and if you hear someone saying, hey, that Joe Biden can't walk upstairs or ride a bike, use your Joe nouns and tell him, Joe Biden got 81 million votes. And when you hear some racist Trump supporters saying Trump won, <laughs> use your Joe nouns and say, yo. Miss Pelosi, to the best of your knowledge, tell us what happened that day. I remember like it was yesterday. I was doing what I always do. Caring for America. Hello, kind sir. How can I help you? You can start by giving me all your money. This is MAGA country. We were horrified. He kept screaming, this is MAGA country. He made us read the Constitution and, ah, and he tried to inject yeah. everyone with bleach. I thought I was going to die. He poured bleach on me and made me say the Pledge of Allegiance. I just wanted to order a Diet Coke. <laughs> so there I was, riding my bike to the Capitol. And all of a sudden... You're all under my control! He said if we didn't do what he wanted, his best friend Ray Epps was gonna pay us all a visit. Do what I say, or I swear I'm gonna call my best buddy Ray Epps! I never felt so helpless before. I felt like I stepped on a bee. I could barely move. But I knew I had to do something. So I took the law into my own hands. Hey, punk! What? Put the bleach down and get out of here! Who's gonna make me? Me! That's you! Oh yeah? Yeah! You in what army? This army! Yeah! I like almost died that day! Get out and stay out! Alright, I'm sorry. I'll leave. Yeah, you better leave! He was totally trying to date me. Damn racist! <laughs> so? Did he leave? Yeah, he left. And then he stole a limousine and screamed, This is MAGA country! While he just showed us on the front lawn. This is MAGA country! It was the darkest day. In American history. AOC, come on, celebrate day six with us. <laughs> it's July already? <laughs> Nancy, can you read us the story, please? All right. <laughs> but afterwards, you kids need to get to bed, or... <laughs> we know! The insurrection fairy won't come. <laughs> it was the night after day six, and all through the house, AOC was still hiding. And... Nancy, can we open just one J6 present? Please! I don't know. Please! Have you kids been good all year? <laughs> yes! Yeah! I've been good! All right. <laughs> you can open one J6 present, and then it's off to bed. Yay! Remember, kids, the insurrection fairy is always watching you. We know! <laughs> now open your presents! I don't want this! What did the insurrection fairy bring you? It's a job application! Oh, I got a job application, too! What are you crying for? Because I didn't want a job application! I wanted attention! Hey, show some respect! There's poor families in America who haven't seen a job application in years! Sorry! Adam, what did you get? Hot dogs and pasta! Adam gets everything! Me and Liz got screwed! Yeah, me and Adam did everything you told us to, and we still got the shot! Hey! You kids need to be more thankful. <laughs> There's poor kids in America who can't even afford food! Sorry! Now off the bed! But Nancy, we forgot to leave the vodka and ice cream out for the insurrection fairy! I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> the impact, what happened on July the 6th had international repercussions beyond what I think any of you can fully understand. Merry insurrection to all! And let's impeach Trump tonight. <laughs> Happy July 6th, everybody! All right, convicts, it's count time! I need all you prisoners to stand up! <laughs> Ray Epps, prisoner Ray Epps, please stand up in your cell. It's count time. Hmm, that's weird. Doesn't seem to be anybody in here. <laughs> prisoner Hillary Clinton! Hello, prisoner Clinton! It's count time! Hmm, that's strange. Hunter Biden? Hello? Prisoner Hunter Biden, are you in here? Prisoner Hunter Biden, come out of your cell. It's scout time. <laughs> Something fishy is going on around here. Sorry, I like totally forgot to shower. Prisoner Barack Obama, stand up. It's scout time. Prisoner Barack Obama, where the hell is everybody? Bill Clinton, hello. Prisoner Bill Clinton, it's scout time. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anybody in here either. <laughs> everybody on Jeffrey Epstein's client list, stand up. It's cap time! Did you hear me? I said everyone on Jeffrey MC's client list, stand up! <laughs> There's gotta be an explanation for this. Where the hell is everybody? Did you finish counting the prisoners? I guess. 
There's nobody here. That's weird. Yeah, it's very weird. Well, 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 what? Trump's tax returns? Yeah, about that. <laughs> um, it, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad, like we finally got him? Not exactly. Is it pretty bad, like we almost got him? I wouldn't say that either. <laughs> well, how bad is it? Yeah, I need to know. What did they say? I'm not sure you're ready for this, since, um, <laughs> quite honestly, I'm not sure America is ready for this. <laughs> Tell us, Nancy! Yeah, I have to know! Well, go on. Donald Trump's tax returns. Yeah, Donald Trump's tax returns. Prove beyond a reasonable doubt. Prove beyond a reasonable doubt what? Yeah, what do they prove? I have to know. Tell me. Well, I'm not really sure how to say this, but um... What is it, Nancy? Yeah, what is it? Donald Trump's tax returns prove that he has ties to America. No! no! That's not all. It's not? No, it gets worse. What? We also found out that Donald Trump... Yeah? He pays what he owes. No! Put yourself together. We need damage control immediately. Okay. okay. Adam, I need six new lies by 12 o'clock. Okay. Actually, make that 12 new lies by 6 o'clock. Done. What do you want me to do? Chuck, I need you to get on every news station and tell everyone that having ties to America and paying what you owe is racist. Son, what are you going to do? I'm going to do what I do best. <laughs> Drink? No. Eat ice cream? No. Money laundering? No. I'm going to start a smear campaign. <laughs> hey, Nancy, Chuck, Adam, when are you going to show your taxes? <laughs> Can you take my order? What? <laughs> I'm speaking waitress. Don't you understand? You're, you're, you're supposed to say, Can I take your order? Yeah. Why would I take your order? <laughs> you're not the boss of me. <laughs> Whatever. Just give me a bottle with some vodka in it. <laughs> and and I'll, uh, I'll get the free taxpayer's eggs benedict, please. And for the races? I'll just have another glass of liberal teas. <laughs> <laughs> he totally wants to date me. Trading cards? Really? What's wrong with that? America's a mess, and you're selling trading cards? Yeah, so? So? How dare you? Nobody wants a stupid car, Trump. Well, you ordered five of them. Hey, <laughs> that was supposed to be confidential. <laughs> uh, the ego on you, Trump. You uh, should be more concerned with helping America, like us. Yeah, you're nothing but a grifter, getting rich off peasants. My, 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 how quickly you all forget. Forget what? Yeah, you never helps America. You only help yourself. Yep. Apparently you forgot how I donated every single payroll check to America for four years. So what? Anyone can say that. Yeah, anybody could do that. You never said nothing for America. I tried. You wouldn't let me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What did you try to do, Trump? Ha, this should be good. Remember when I asked for five billion dollars to finish the wall? Yeah, yes. Well, how come you couldn't give me the five billion to build the wall? Because we didn't have career takes off. Everybody here? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. All right, uh, let's begin. Uh, where's Kamala? Um, <laughs> she's under the table looking oh. for a pearl necklace. Oh, <laughs> what's she doing under there? Um, her uh, job. Kamala, come out from under the table. Uh, yeah, come up here, Kamala. No, 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 no. Just, just, just let her finish what she's doing. Yeah, let her uh, finish. She's got her hands uh, full, Nancy. <laughs> Can we get down to business, please? Uh, uh, <laughs> Is Kamala okay? Oh, yeah. Of course she's fine. <laughs> she's got her knee pads on. So, Kevin. Yeah? Are you going to play on our team or not? I don't know. What team are oh, you on? Oh, yeah. I'm on the money team. We're all on the money train. Oh. Isn't that right, Chuck? Yeah. <laughs> don't stop. Oh, yeah, don't God. stop. Yeah, the money train never oh. stops. Choo-choo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could be the next China if we try hard enough. Yeah. Damn. In fact... We should all be taking notes on what China is doing right now. I agree. And we need to shut down Twitter, too. 
Oh. We can't allow these peasants oh. to have free speech. So, oh. Kevin, are you in or are you out? I don't know. I told everyone I was going to fire Ilhan Chef and Swalwell. So what? I say stuff all the time. <laughs> Nobody cares. Yeah, I, I say stuff all the time. No, nobody even knows what I'm saying. He's right, Kevin. Nobody cares. But don't Republicans care? Are you serious? I don't know. <laughs> Kevin, if the Republicans cared, they would do something. Yeah. But they don't. They just turn the other cheek and let us do whatever we want. <laughs> but they are doing some things, aren't they? I don't know. That's Mitch. <laughs> yeah, the Republicans are doing a great job. <laughs> yeah, they let me get elected. <laughs> That's a good one, Joe. What? What did I say? Mm. Oh. The bottom line is this. If the Republicans were going to do something, they would have done it already. Yeah, we've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, so is oh. Cobble the Money Side, Whoa. Kevin. We'll Whoa. take good care of you. Oh. Oh. You really think I should? Yeah. Free ice cream, free stock chips, free everything. Oh, yeah. Well, what do I have to do? You just do whatever we tell you to do. Hi, I'm a... Uh... Joe. Joe. And I'm Nancy. And, and we've, we've got, got eggs. eggs. <laughs> do you like eggs? Uh, uh, do you, you want to buy some eggs but just can't afford them? Have you searched every grocery store in town only to find empty shelves? So, read the teleprompter. Oh, oh uh, 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 well, you're a duck. No, it, it says you're in luck. Yeah, that's what I said. You want eggs? We got eggs. And for just 17 payments of only $19.99, you can have eggs, too. For just 13 payments of only $17.99, you can have a half dozen eggs that may or may not be made from vegetables. Absolutely free. For just 22 payments of only $14.99, plus 19 payments of just $34.77. That's less than an Abrams cake. <laughs> and, and if you act now, I'll even throw in an empty egg carton filled with some of Hunter's Easter eggs he never found for only 37 payments of only $465. That's a 25 cent value, absolutely free, for just 10 payments of $1,759. That's less than a payment to Ukraine. But wait, that's not all. For a limited time, I'll even throw in a $20 scratched off lottery ticket for only 20 bucks. What do you think about that, White House Press Secretary? I'll refer you to the White House Council. But that's not all! You'll also be entered into a drawing for a chance to win $20 for only 17 payments of only 60 bucks. That's a 25 cent value, absolutely free, after 14 payments of only $27.99. And if you send us a check for $99, I'll even throw in this never-before-used hammer for only 6 payments of just $45, plus $35 for shipping and handling. That's a $14 value, absolutely free, for just $404, plus $1,500. And with every purchase, we'll donate $2 million to your train. But wait, we're not done! For an additional $1,400, I'll throw in a carton of partially used egg whites that may or may not contain cat hair. Absolutely free, for just six payments of only $17.99. Wow, that's almost a full carton! But wait, there's more! <laughs> and because this is all Trump's fault, the first hundred callers will get to smell all the evidence on me and Hunter. And I'll even throw in a used gas card with no money on it. Absolutely free. Wow, that's amazing. But wait, that's not all. No, no. For a limited that, time. That's it, Joe. Oh. Read the teleprompter, Joe. <laughs> and remember, people, if you're poor, weak, and hungry. That's the way we like it. <laughs> hey, it's all Trump's fault, right? You got that right. Oh, I'm so mad right now. What's wrong, Nancy? Yeah, what's wrong? Some Trump supporters stood up to me today. <laughs> who cares? It's just one Trump supporter. Yeah, who cares about one puny Trump supporter? Yeah. You're right. I'm probably just overreacting. <laughs> I mean, it was only just one Trump supporter. Yeah, there's nothing to worry about. Yeah. So you're saying there's nothing to worry about? Of course not. We're Democrats! I see your point, but what if two Trump supporters stood up to me? Who cares? We got security! Yeah, and lots of it! What if a hundred Trump supporters stood up to me? That's why we have the military! Okay, but what if a million Trump supporters stood up to me? Um... Uh, let me explain something to you. If I let one Trump supporter stand up to me, then they all might stand up to me. Those puny Trump supporters outnumber us a thousand to one. And if they ever figure that out, there goes our way of life. This isn't about money. This is about power. And keeping those Trump supporters in line. All right, Trump, give it up. You're under arrest. <laughs> For what? What? Oh, man, boom, boom. <laughs> I can't understand him. 
Take your censorship mask off. I said for what? Um, <laughs> I, I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, you guys know why he's being arrested? Yeah, no, no, I don't no. even know where I am right now. <laughs> you guys have no clue why you're arresting me? Hey, hey, hey. You go to jail! For what? Exactly! We don't white people like you in America, Trump! This is ridiculous! Shouldn't you do nothing Democrats be investigating Hunter Biden or Epstein's client list? Don't be stupid! Democrats don't investigate Democrats! Yeah! Why would we investigate ourselves? So, can you guys tell me why I'm being arrested? I don't know, but, um, <laughs> we'll think of something. <laughs> American taxpayers are paying good money to see you arrested for no reason. <laughs> well, what if I didn't run for president? Well, I mean, if you don't run for president, I mean, <laughs> that, that, there's really no reason for you to be arrested. Right? Not no. at all. So all I got to do is not run for president and you won't arrest me? <laughs> hey, hey, that's right. I, I'm not trying to pressure you or anything, <laughs> but you got a deal? No, no deal. Well, then you're under arrest. Take him away. So let me get this straight. You got a crime wave in New York City. The banking system is collapsing. The border is wide open. But arresting me is your top priority? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is political prosecution. Yeah, well, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to ask my supporters to peacefully protest this injustice. <laughs> Peaceful protest? <laughs> That's against the law. What do you think you are? America? So, House Drinker, you've been in office for 34 years now. What have you been up to? Well, um... <coughs> um... Drinking. Lots of drinking. Um, are, are you still drinking? Uh, no, 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 no. Um, that's, uh... That's behind me now. <laughs> what, what, are you, are you buying? Uh, in the history of America, <laughs> there, there's been no other president. <laughs> With a lower approval rating, no other president with, with the highest standard for putting America last. A man who raised gas prices and inflation simultaneously. A president that looked away from the border while crime flooded this country. A legend that gave almost all of America's money to other countries while trying to restore himself. Out of prison. A hero that did everything we told him to do. And a visionary who said everything that we told him to say. Politicians are richer because of this man. He did it all for the children. And that's why I fully endorse the most remarkable, <laughs> the most heroic <laughs> president <laughs> of all time. Stop it, Joe. You're going to make me moist. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in... Re-election Joe Biden for president. Let's keep making the government rich. <laughs> well, America, <laughs> today's the day I put down the hammer. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> today I walk away from my amazing legacy. It's Nancy's time now. <laughs> time to enjoy my life and work on my marriage. <laughs> I've earned it. Yet my 37 years of saving America has come to an end. The entire nation is grateful for me, you know? It's like so many people have thanked me for saving this country. Just look at some of these amazing tweets from trusted politicians like Joe Biden, Barack Obama, and Kamala Harris. Adam Schiff said I reminded him of Muhammad Ali because I'm a champion. <laughs> I never back down from a fight. Yeah, I did some amazing things for you peasants in, in America, you know? And, and you should all be on your hands and knees thanking me. Looking back, I... Never really asked for anything in return but happiness. I just wanted to help America. I never did anything illegal, and I always made sure everyone was taken care of. But that's just me. That's just who I am, and that's who I've always been. And that's who I'll always be. So there's no need to investigate me. <laughs> just say goodbye and forget all about me. <laughs> you know, I didn't get into politics to get rich or to be above the law or to, to better my life. No, no, I, I, I got into politics to save America. <laughs> Yeah, my net worth is 500 million, but that 500 million is honest money. It's clean. And I earned that money while helping America. So, and that's exactly what I did. You know, I, 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 I saved you all. <laughs> I mean, just look around. You'll see what I've done. What did you do? Well, I, um, let's see. Um, you remember that 600 bucks I gave everybody? Um, I, I, and I impeached Donald Trump twice. I, 
And you the lot, um, I hear before they fly the George Floyd family, I invested in some stock, ran some smear campaigns. So it was January 16th, uh, Russia, Russia, Russia. Um, I, di- I didn't wear a mask as a hairdresser. Um, I drank a little, ate some ice cream, invested in some more stock, ripped up some historical documents, <laughs> nailed some more, got rich, got richer, then I got really rich. <laughs> I ignored the homeless and, um, I got rich. <laughs> but in the end, you know, it's like, um, I've always said I, I've, I've always put America first. And that's why I'm endorsing my daughter, January 6th filmmaker, to be the next house drinker. <laughs> well, I gotta get hammered, so, um, it's time to celebrate. Good night, peasants! Ha, 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 ha.